Okay, I got one more guest coming on. Kill the music right now. All right, uh, Gina. Oh well, that's guys. We live right now. All right. Um, I, I, lots going on right now. But um, listen, um, it's another week, right? About seven days since the last time y'all saw this face. <laughs> Belongs on the tizub, and um, <laughs> so. I got Marissa, my lovely panel here, and guys, you know, um, tell me about your week. Let's start with, you know, uh, folks that's right to the right of me here. Go ahead and introduce yourself, how your week been, and then we're going to keep going around. It's been a fruitful year, and each week, it just keeps turning up more crop. So, mm. while I'm tired of everything, right. I ain't mad either. I know that's my, right. My plants, yep. I know that's right. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what's going on. All right. Uh, so that's that's your year so far. Um, just being fruitful and all that stuff. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, between last week and this week, how was your week? Because you talk, you're talking about the year, but what happened since last weekend? Um, I'm learning how to better time manage. Last week, I almost got my behind kicked where I should have said no and I said yes. Oh boy. Mm. I'm, wor I'm working on that. So I'm not, I'm not sleepwalking tonight. <laughs> Last oh. week, if you saw yeah, the it was show. crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> and I was yeah. bobbing and weaving a little bit. Listen, I thought she was I'm Floyd dead. Mayweather on here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm dead. Back. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, cool. All right, so you had a good week. Uh, Kim, what's popping with you? What's going on? Well, I'm back in Florida from Boston, and I survived the pollen, y'all, because I was going to either take a knife and dig my eyeballs out. You hear me? Wow. I was dying up there, and they had mm. bi bipolar weather. It was cold one day, hot one day, but it was cool. It was nice to see family, but I'm I'm happy to be back. I had mm. bi um, bipolar weather. It was, yeah, so here I am back in Florida with y'all. You know, back in the heat, but at least there's a uh, central air condition. So, hey, I'm good with that. Wherever the AC is, that's where I am. That's part, <laughs> that part. Mm -hmm. That's it for me. Can't hear you, Carlo. Carlo, you're on mute. Is he really, though? Oh, ha! <laughs> jokes right below, right, right, right down there below. Kimmy Cakes, uh, who, who that is? Who is that? Below, that's me. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is me. Word. Um, <clears throat> I ain't never been on this show, so <laughs> I've seen it, <laughs> but I ain't never been on it. Um, so my week has been, uh, it's a mix of kind of frustration. And learning how to handle people, um, all of that intertwined with seeing myself through these people that frustrate the hell out of me. So, oh boy. yeah, they are, yeah. <laughs> Dealing with, okay, since you must know, because all of y'all asked, um, I'm getting my lawn <laughs> restarted. I'm getting it started. And I gave my business to this, this company, you know, it's, African American company, you know. Small, so that's a, a African American small business. Yes, man, I'm supporting. Seeing and the people them just do me dirty, you see, and them frustrate me. And I we did a show about that. Her. We would have loved you? to have. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, well, you can yeah. do a read a part two or something, but come on, Pandesa, and tell you about it. Anyways. So Jesus had to take the wheel several times. I went down to their place of business, almost cussed bad words down there, but I didn't. I behaved myself nicely, but mm. them still going nasty. And I mean, I'm just like, you know what? Duly noted. So I just let them know I'm courting other people. I'm taking my business elsewhere. I want a refund. Y'all don't play nicely. I'm not playing with y'all no more. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, Bruh. that was that. This is like all right. wow. All right, so that That's was a week crazy. that that can be. It's only Wednesday. That that but could see, be. But this has been going on since about a month since I oh. signed a contract with them and them do. Oh, we gonna start this week. Oh, we can't start this. We are gonna start next week and then them do something else and them not communicate and all kind of frustration. For me, it's just a lack of communication. 
And I'm like, yeah. your ethics, your, your 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 way of doing business is really shitty. Wow. You know? Yeah. yeah. We we not. Wow. Playing. Um, did you like some water? Cause uh, you know, get my sounds... clear Starbucks cup. Yeah. <laughs> so um, for for those who don't know, uh, that's my sister Debbie. Um, and uh, there you go. I was I was trying to figure out if that situation we're dealing with, if that's what are those horns coming up there, or is that like a set? What is that? Is that like a semi halo? These are. No, 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 you know, let me just light them, then bring out that thing in and I miss. I'm gonna just keep them. They're just so eccentric. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, all right, all right, all <laughs> put right. it out. I don't care. I'll be going all kind of places and be like, Oh my god, I love your cat ears. I'm like, Oh, well, sure. Oh, this oh, is not just oh, now, this is oh, what you wear oh, every day. Yeah, I wear it all the time. I'm going to places and I just put it on, and, oh. and <laughs> yeah. And people nice. are like, oh my God, I love it. I what? wear it I, I usually have a different color uh, hat on, or sometimes when I wear my hair out and curly and it just stick out there in the afro and it look cute and thing and thing. I'm just going with the business. And people are like, okay. I'm like, yeah, I see you too, girl. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. All right. So, I don't care. That's, what's the, given. that's how I roll these days. Listen, I'm not mad at you. All right. Well, um, next to you is uh, go ahead and bring it. Introduce yourself, brother. You you, you look ready to go. That, that was that was I was I was still digesting. Um, <laughs> Smith. <laughs> Listen, man. Um, the week the week started off absolutely amazing. It ended yeah. like shit. Um, it what? ended like 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 pure grown man. Um. Lactose so you could take some tire. of that and use that sod on my sister's lawn, bro. Yeah, that's manure. That would definitely help that lawn grow. Um, yeah, I, need it. I just I just wrapped up a photo shoot. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. Um, and I it was at this mansion in Southwest Ranches, and there was three pools. Three. Mm. Well, actually, one three big pools. pool and then one big pool and then two smaller pools. But they are big though. They are big, and I'm walking backwards shooting the models, and next thing you Cause, know greg because that's what you're the supposed to do yeah greg fell in the water with cameras nah um, so nah. A, a three thousand out of lens another four thousand out of camera it was working while i was there but i went to my second shoot in um west palm beach an hour away and uh um, they died pull, pull out the camera start shooting dead dang you know but you know we'll see what happens i'm going to send it out to canon tomorrow and I have a shoot tomorrow as well, but luckily, you know, I have two other cameras, so it. it, it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right. can, you know, just smile through it, man. Like, yeah. worst come the worst, I have to go buy another one. I mean, it is what it is. All right. Cool. Um, I next uh, introduce you guys to a friend of mine, Gina. Um, hey, Gina. You know, this is the Caribs, and I guess you know the Caribs has a Latin Caribbean has a Latin contingent, even though it's a little bit in South America, but still. You know, uh, we, we in here like swimwear. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourself beyond your name and, uh, you know, t tell us how your week been. Good evening. Um, first time here. So, Miss Smith, you're not alone. <laughs> 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 Help you out a little bit. And I'm pretty you're cutting up. Productive. You're coming in and out, Gina. Yeah. Very productive week. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you get it. I, yeah, so yeah I think there's some, some background stuff in the back. We can't see you no more, though. Yeah, yeah. That happens. Hey, oh, there you go. Hey. It's probably the Wi Fi. Yeah, it's probably the Wi Fi. Uh, I, I, I think so. Go ahead and speak. Uh, I was saying it was a very productive week. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay, yeah, so we can hear you. Good, good. Okay. Where are you from, Gina? Colombia. I'm sorry. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. No, 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 it's okay. I was I was breaking up apparently. So I was saying that uh he met America, but he wasn't quite exact with the country. So yes. super super proud yeah. to be. I know that's right. <laughs> Dang. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, and then Truth Pills is there. I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, he just came in, and uh, glad the brother could be here. I know he's probably working on some things, but hey, man, how you do <laughs> working on food. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did you bring enough for everybody? 
I brought pineapples just in case you guys made me sure. uncomfortable. Wow. Yeah. Pineapple. 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 I know, right? I thought it was some meat in there. I thought oh, it was some kind of something that, that you could put gravy on top of, you know? Well, yeah, depending I, I, on who you're I, asking. I, I knew, I knew, I knew he was going to say. <laughs> hey, oh, D, 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 high five, high five, high five. Pineapples. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh, hold up. What? I might have caught on to something there. Never mind. Pineapples. Ketchup, ketchup. Exactly. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so late. Yeah. So slow. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> all right. Well, listen. Tonight's conversation. Um, tonight we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about um, submit to who and for what. All right. What are we submitting about? All right. That, that, that's what we're talking about here. And um, I, I, I kind of order the questions in a way that I think we could have a conversation that flows. So um, I want to ask the f good folks on the panel, um, what, uh, well, the first question here is, uh, you know, um, submission. Well, yeah, submission back then. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to move something around. I'm going to move it around. I'm going to hit this first. I'm going to say, what does what is submission? What does it mean to you? Let's start with there. Um, I, I, and, and this could be in any context, right? What does submission mean to you? We're not talking about wrestling, though. So that, that's for sure. We're definitely not speaking about wrestling. And uh, what does submission mean to you? Hmm. I ain't going first, so. I mean, you're, you're speaking. So you speaking. You might as well go. God dang. <laughs> um... I can say that my idea of submission has changed. Um, I, I have that stigma that submitting to, I, I guess we're talking about relationships, right? Because when I when I Google submission before, mm. I got a whole bunch of visuals, y'all. Mm -hmm. That was some different kind of, I'm talking about people acting like animals, like yes, dogs. Sweet. But anyway, mm. since we're talking about relationships, um, my view of submission before was like a, a bad thing, actually. Like so you had to be like a servant. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm uh, actually uh, against submission. I, I would have to give details and context into that further, but I don't think it's a bad thing now. I will say that prior to probably a committed relationship or views of other relationships when they say to have a submissive partner, and even sometimes when I hear certain discussions, it seems like one has to be lower or you have to be a servant to someone. Mm -mm. So mm -hmm. I would say my views have changed on it, and I'm not. I I, I don't think it's a bad thing. Word. Okay. But but I have to give more context as we speak about it. Okay, go ahead. Since I was forced to go first. <laughs> you were not forced. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I think I speak for the rest of the group when I say we're waiting for Camille's response. I've been waiting on her. I've been looking at her out there. I've been looking at her out there. She's she looking, uh, she looking quiet. That's why I said I didn't want to go first. You know, Camille, oh. Camille got some points. I'm waiting. Go ahead, Camille. Camille in a good way. Camille, that was a nice segue into you going. Go ahead, girl. For real. Listen, I feel like um, it's a trap calling my name. Um, it's Don't a fall setup. Fight. Um, I know how chess is played. <laughs> and so everybody is like withholding. Listen, submission is to me, or how I've been, um, it's been explained to me, um, is pretty much to yield. Um, and um, sometimes it means yielding your will or your idea or, you know, your way. I am a very um, strong-minded person. Rebel. And I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, I am a little bit of a rebel, but I do understand um, order and um, and structure. So for me, submission just means to yield, um, and that's where I'm going to leave it. It means to yield. Okay. Um, I, I want to. I want right, the right of way. So it's like you're driving. You know, you yield to the person mm -hmm. who has the right of way. Not to be a bitch. Okay. That's though. my definition. Well, <laughs> you see, hey, hold on. You see, you see what I mean, though. You see what I mean? 
That right. wasn't me. That was Deb. That was I Deb. Know, yeah, that was, I know that was Deb. I know. No, I'm saying gems. Gems. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Always. Okay. Always. Cool. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to follow through with Camille. I'm going to follow up after Camille. I'll just jump right in. Um, so submission to me has always been, and I, I'm, I'm that, you know, I, I rock both, you know, I'm on a seesaw. So I, um, I'm going to, you know, always play the devil's advocate and give it to what it was always beaten into my head as a child. Submission was always more so, um, you know, woman, you listen to me. Um, I'm the leader. You do as I say, you submit and we're going to go with that. You know, that, that was the picture. I think society always painted as submission. It was always, to me, it was always unevenly swayed where basically the man was like, Hey, I'm the dominant. I'm going to be the leader. I'm going to basically be the head of this and you submit to my will. And that's that. Um, but as I grew into more knowledge, I realized that submission is a, is a two-sided, is mm. a two-sided, is a two-sided road where basically, you know, we both have to give to make sure that the life is balanced. You know, like I'll submit and basically do my part and equally, you know, she'll submit and do her part, you know? So I think that's what it is now. But um, I think we live in a patriotic society where um, things that women, it, it's, it's, I think it's only equally swayed to women where a lot of people have this term submission where it's it's always beaten up on the woman, what she has to do, what she has to do, what she has to do. Despite it say, hey, you know, guys, you know, submit to, wife submit to your husband as Christ submit to the church, you know, whatever the scripture says. Um, you know, so that's that's what it is. I think it's always only equally um, swayed to women, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, in my adult years, I've learned that it's it's a lot deeper than that. But a lot of ignorant folks still go the opposite way where it's what it said. I'm going to beat you over the head with this Bible about it. Submit to me, woman. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. And I want to segue into that. Gina, what do you think? Pause. Um, <laughs> so. um, Gina? <laughs> go ahead, Truth. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. Um, so here's the thing. Funny thing is as far as that old picture that people have of what submission is and the biblical aspect, it's funny that like people don't look at that entire, that entire chapter. And it's so funny because that like, what is asked of the woman is submission, but funny what most people don't pay attention to in that same verse, what's asked of the man is death. So you're trying to say that death is worse? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is. It is. So, so, so the expectation of the woman is to submit to, 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 to the man as the church submits to Christ. Mm -hmm. But the expectation is that the man will love his wife to the point of laying down his life for her, just as Christ laid down his life for the church. So I don't know if you want to compare, you know, like one, it's, it's, one it's being never. worse than the other. But... I digress. I just wanted to, because because Greg went the church route, I so I just wanted to tap into that. But as far as my definition of submission, submission is something that a powerful person does. Because a weak-willed person cannot submit. Singing, I want to bomb for him. I, 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 like, I like the way that sound. Fire stop me. My own way, and I want to do what I want to do, and I want to do what I feel is very easy. What is not easy is for you to say, okay, I see what you're saying, and I'm going to roll with it. Um, Again, with what Greg realized in his later years. Submission is definitely a two-way street. Um, that's the only way it works. Um, the wife, the, the woman is not necessarily submitting to the, the husband or her, her man. It's, um, it's an idea. It's, uh, it's a goal, a, a, a thing that you both agree on. 
for the direction of your lives or your relationship and you both have to submit to that you feel me so because of this understanding this mutual understanding then the wife is able to my wife is able to 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 call me into accountability you feel me so for, all right for example um oh, 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 hold on now i'm a, i'm a we got some more questions coming up. Do you want to save some of that sauce for the rest of it right there? Because I, 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 I know you got it. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. I want to hear what just... Debbie and Gina thinks about the word before Truth right. breaks it down. Okay. All right. So, so I want to come back to you, True. We're going. We're going to get. We're going to have some. Um, uh, so far, from what you're saying, uh, Devon Davis says, uh, "Speak truth, truth." <laughs> um and, and he had something i want to i want to add here before we go to uh, miss smith uh as he contributes uh, submission is as it pertains to a man and woman relationship or any relationship is your acceptance of someone having responsibility and accountability to manage or maintain your lives together oh, hmm. makes sense. Well, I, like, I, I like i like where this is going uh, okay oh. all right so um uh, miss smith come to the front of the class what's up what you talking about over there okay so i wanna i like what truth said um because submission is indeed something so so powerful because not very many people want to check that ego and put it in the corner and allow themselves to hear or 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 see what another person not even in the context of a relationship is just in, in life in general to allow maybe truth or correctness or as camille said order um structure and those things to take precedence over your feelings or what you you know all of them things the ego driven rationale for for not wanting to submit i i think that the person who is capable of submitting um is is a very very powerful person and i believe probably the one that may have or wield more power if if we're looking at things from a power dynamics st standpoint as as well but yeah being able to 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 put yourself aside and and look at the larger uh, uh picture whatever that may be um <clears throat> and saying okay i i may not be in the right for this one or for the greater good of i uh, i will agree to you know or whatever the case may be a submission the person who's able to submit is indeed i believe the 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 they're the goat <laughs> no before i go to gina I, before i go to gina i'm gonna <laughs> ask you because you being my sister there was a time where you were are or were rebellious af how do you are, are you yeah, yeah, no, no, you, she, you was always a law abiding is. citizen. You, <laughs> she wears ears around. She's still rebellious. <laughs> still rebellious, <laughs> which is which I, I like that because you definitely <laughs> carved your own path. Where did you have you always had this view or is this a view that you've learned to adapt? Um, <clears throat> I would say I, I, over the years, I've adapted that, but I think in certain scenarios, maybe ones that were not best in my best interest, mm -hmm. I I had a habit of submitting, but because I felt I was being protective. Okay, you think so, you thought you were being protected or protective by protective submitting? Protective of whoever I was being around. So I'm like, I'm gonna do it your way but or, or i'm gonna go with the flow on this one because my presence there in a critical moment i can pull us out because you okay. might going too deep and don't know when to stop whereas i can be the voice of reason and i can pull us out okay so we're going but just in case you you run in you run in um you back up if, if something go left yep all right that works uh Gina. Gina. What's what's going on down? There? What's going on over there? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. I have like so far. one bar and I don't want to spend all this energy and you then you can't hear me. Okay. And I have to submit to y'all again and repeat. 
That's, that was a good one. That was a good one. Nice, nice. Damn, Gina. So by definition, I would just say to give in to, regardless of guy, girl, 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 get gonna work, whatever it is. Um, it's taken me a very long time to learn to to oh, okay. do, and uh, okay. I would say I'm still in the works. Can't say that I got it down pat yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Strong, strong uh, minded <laughs> individual, <laughs> as you know me. <laughs> So it's definitely a work in progress. Okay. That's, cool. right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, anybody want to add anything else before I move on to the next question? I think we all kind of are in agreement. I like that. All right. Cool. Um, so the next one coming up is... We touched on the Bible for a little bit, which is for many people coming from uh, out of Christian homes, right? We, 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 you know, our idea, if you didn't do history and, and all these other things, then submission back in the day versus modern day submission. Um, uh, question one, is it any different? And uh, as it stated here, the purpose then to the value right now. Who, 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 um, who submitted this question? You submitted it? Okay. So the purpose back then, do you think there's a there was a purpose back then that doesn't exist now? And do you think the value is different? I, I agree with that. I didn't submit it. I I think it looked different. And it you was think? used for and and it was used for Control. extracurricular stuff. <laughs> extracurricular <laughs> stuff? <laughs> I mean, would it, would it have been for like control as control? well? Yeah, Order? There was, control. There was a, a different the, Okay, so there is a great, when you use the word control, there is a positive side of control and there's also a negative side. So when we talk about control as it pertains to order, then yeah. But when you talk about um, control as, it, com um, as it, it pertains to dominance and dominance over someone as um, Truth mentioned before, that you're to love um, and if you abuse, if you abuse that rule that you got to do, you got to do what I say. And mm. if you abuse that and you ask me to do things that are unfair, then yeah, um, I, I do believe that um, there's a lot of misogyny in the Bible. Um, huh. It's it's pretty blatant. Yes. It was a man's world back then. And, yes. Um, I mean. it, it, it was very obvious, it, you know women had a place mm. and even throughout time you know even an educated woman was considered a witch so um so we have to remember that um back then women were kind of like dependent on men for survival sure. without without having a man um you know marry you or bring you into a family and give you a name you were pretty much left to kind of figure out life on your own and, and hope for the best. So I feel like um, the history of, um, of submission in the past, it had some unpleasant trees there. And um, for, for example, I, I watched, um, no, you know what, I'm not even going to say that because I don't even have to get into a dramatic or a far gone extreme. I don't like that and I don't want to promote that. I want to promote extremes to prove my point because um, it, it, it's one of those um, situations that, that's rare. But um, in the past, yeah, I would say that um, women really didn't have a voice and they, they were pretty much like children to their husband um, in terms of that kind of submission. Like, you know, shut your mouth, don't speak up. Stay behind me. I got this. If you speak, you could embarrass me, you know, or I pay the bills or I pay the cost to be the boss kind of thing. Um, and yeah. Are, are we with that? I, I can hear where some of that could be a thing in some situations, but I think there's... um. Some situations? There, yeah, no, because there's some situations where, where for example, um, if we want to get biblical, Let's look at our homegirl, dear. What that? What's her name? Jezebel, right? They give in the Seventh Adventist Church. They give her a bad name, but that was Ahab's wife, 
And if you watch Game, if you want a reference of what she was like, watch Game of Thrones. What did the women in Game of Thrones behave like? At least the the queen, the 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 royal families and whatnot. What did we? What was the behavior we saw from them? Were they under anybody's foot? Some some of them were. Some of them um, were. Which ones? Yeah. The Jezebel was not. Jezebel was not a submissive wife. No. According to the Bible, Jezebel controlled Ahab. She she did what she wanted. So I I don't think the Bible refers to her as submissive. So she no 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 no. She, she, she doesn't have, qualify she did, she to me. She didn't either. have a good name. Ho that's, hold that's on no no no. no. They gave her a bad name because she was not submissive. That's okay exactly. Right. So so exactly. so so hold on. Here's some context. I think many of us are approaching this, and I'm gonna go on from a lens of the Bible and not necessarily history. And then there's a context of church gave. The, what the context go ahead sorry go on, go on, go on. the context that the church gave it so uh, here here's i think i th i agree with with um some of what camille just said i think there's uh just like when we talk about dating and i ask you guys to consider social economic class and how that affects dating dynamics right because it's different at different levels i think it's a similar situation because there were women who were bred for power what we saw in jezebel was she was raised to be a princess and a queen which she didn't just take she gave good counsel and ahab was a spineless dude she he was a spineless dude and she, she the way she coming from the was it the phoenicians she ran things a different way in her culture versus how they did things in the jewish culture but that's a deeper conversation um no she I'm wasn't submiss yeah, I'm trying to tie it into the submission part because I would never dare bring Jezebel into a submission com conversation. I, 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 I don't would. know how she made it here. She didn't. No, no, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you how she. I'll tell you how she made it there. There is. If it, it, there are women who we, we, we what we may come up with right is some women who are capable of submitting and want to, but if you are a spineless dude, you know she might step on you. She might step on you. So okay. in that situation, she was trained to run a certain way and Ahab was not that type of way. So she stepped on him. But let's keep it moving, though. Uh, Camille dropped some gems. Uh, I don't want to unpack all of it. I want to let whatever she said. There. But I wanted to introduce the fact that there is levels to it. And also at lower levels of uh, where people didn't have anything, people were marrying for love. Right. The people at lower levels that you didn't have any property and no no stuff you were trying to consolidate because you it were either really like today to me it is what? That's exactly what, 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 what you're talking about sounds like explaining. modern day to me That's yeah right. in yeah. cultures I, 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 currently they do that stuff yeah. yes you can pull up a whole bunch of them korea uh, asian culture indian yep. indian um, muslim yeah muslims yep that do what that, that do the do what the submission the, thing for, for the for, submissive thing and marrying into like um uh women who are uneducated they they want to you marry as an alliance for families okay and, the know, contract all of that stuff all right cool and so, women bring dory into the family and all of them something that it still happens yeah so, okay, so that's that's that's, that's that's the point that's the point i want yeah. to touch on like yeah career. yeah go ahead so to go back to my initial statement where we talked about like you know what before i knew what i knew that my transition to seeing what submission really is when we talk about the lineage and the history of it like you know people may talk about oh you know with the explanation of the bible and that's the thing about it right i'm practical like the knowledge that truth pills and you may have about the historical facts and everything about biblically, the typical person don't have that. Right. Mm -hmm. And the typical preaching and sermon in the church is not preaching that when he talked about the correlation of the death that the mass is taking. So what not. And one thing that I know about history, the history is just going to show you what it was. If we talk about the 1960s when a woman didn't have a voice, the 1950s when a woman didn't have a voice, she wasn't allowed to work. She had to be a housewife. She had to make sure that she submitted to her husband. She had to be a good wife. She had to do all these things. Like all of that, I don't know where the origin of that was, mm -hmm. right? And if it was the same teaching biblically that was being taught that eventually would transition and said, okay, people changed it, you know, but whatever mm -hmm. was taught initially, that kept on. You know, now w that women were working uh, in, in the 30s and 40s and 50s. They, they, were, they but, were working. But that was not the norm. That, that was not the norm, norm at all. That was not the norm. Yep. 
Yeah. That was not the norm. So we, we what I'm stick, sticking to is submission back then versus modern day submission. And it's mm -hmm. definitely a big difference because what we didn't have now is, you know, a woman who's basically going to do for herself and whatnot. Like as women progress and basically, you know, st they've always stood on their two feet when they gain equal rights as men and still not equal. I think it changed a little bit because most women had the courage to have a voice, the majority. Right. right, right so right. then it became where, hey, you're just not going to step over me or just run over me where, you know, my you did it to my great, 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 great mom, let great, great grandpa do it. You know, so as they went down the lineage, things changed. But like Camille said, you know, there are a lot of cultures where this submission thing still is what it was but back it in the days. Yeah. OK, so so then to get to the second piece, then just to make sure. So the purpose then to the value right now. Is there value to submission right now? Let's get, get do we think so? Gina, you want to touch that? I, I just, uh, as uh, Greg, is it? Yes. Yeah. He was saying some certain things. I just, I was triggered to say so. So submission was at the fear back then. And just Facts. your understanding now. Facts. I think it was fear. It was control and power driven. It was abused back mm -hmm. then. It was, I mean, it still is abused now, but I think it was heavily abused back then. But as a man, as you come to understand that, you know what, wait a minute, like I can't dominate this person that I saw I love like this and she just can't be at my will and my beck and call. So it's like you realize that, no, I can submit to you as I expect you to submit to me. So I have a question. I don't know if this is what you're getting to, Gina, or, or, or maybe let, let me let you finish speaking. Go ahead, because you're asking for clarity. Go ahead. What were you, you're saying it was for fear back then. What is it for now? Yeah, I just wanted to ask him that just to to fuel the fire. <laughs> oh, to fuel the fire. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, she like likes that. to see things I'm, burn. I'm a fire yeah. starter, Gina. Fire starter. Listen, okay, so, let, so, so let me ask a question then. Um, so, and I hear the word dominance being used or dominate, and I hear control, right? Um, in certain communities, like, for instance, people in the, you know, the, the SNM community and whatnot, right? Um there are people who have control issues and those people give those communities a bad name when they find them they try to push them out because submission is not about control or dominance it's about choice right mm. it's about choice so people who have control issues that's never been a healthy thing and i want to ask the panel since i hear that that angle where submission i hear those words being used do you think Submission is tied to unhealthy behavior such as control and dominance, or is it choice? And do you think then, since we say historically women didn't have a choice and it was out of fear, do we think that there were no examples of healthy relationships back then? Or are we just being say, told the story that everything was all bad? I'm going to use some reference that Camille has used in the past. I think that they both can coexist. Yep. Um, I definitely <laughs> will say that that I've learned agree, over bro. time that my yeah. my girl has said um, they can coexist. I think mm -hmm. when you know, I, I hate to use this phrase, when you know better, you do better. Mm -hmm. Probably around certain times, they did not have the means to. They knew, hey, I left my parents' house. I went to some a gentleman who could take care of me, and I'm going to bear his children, and I'm going to follow what he tells me to do. So mm -hmm. maybe that is what they were taught and brought into. Mm -hmm. um, modern day do i think that happens i know in a lot of other cultures and countries there are a lot of women who are still okay with that there are or arranged marriages and women right now in 2022 who still have that um yes but the difference i think is there's more choice now yep, um women know they have a choice they don't have to necessarily mm -hmm. do those things they can say okay arranged marriages stops with me you know their yep. parents their family might be upset with it but they decide they want to do something different. So I think choice now versus choice then um, is a big is a big uh, issue. If the, if that's what we're since you said about choice, I would I say that. that that would be one of the the major things. But do I think that they both exist? Yes. All right. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a modern woman who is married. What mm -hmm. she has to say about um, submission. Okay. My own atomic alley. How do you feel about the women that are saying this is heartbreakingly sad? <laughs> 
I mean, I don't know. I get my back blown out regularly. I am fully paid for survival. I have my own autonomy. Uh, I also do my own work. So, like, I just don't see what's wrong with my situation. But they can ask themselves why they're single if they won't. <laughs> Okay, um, let me see here. I, I don't do. I think I have another one from her, but she is talking about. Um, I, she talked about being submissive to her husband and mm -hmm. what have you, and people were criticizing her position. Camille, you shaking your head? Go ahead. Um, that I I saw the um the, the little sh the little shade she threw in the end. <laughs> that part. They can, that part. They can explain why they're single if they want. Yeah. I mean, for everybody who is single, somebody can throw shade at them for why yep. they have mm -hmm. nobody in their life. And for and everybody who's a, in an unhealthy why they have relationship. Failed, yeah. Why they have failed love. love <laughs> <to all another. laughs> I mean, she act like single people ain't getting their back blown right. out and getting yeah. out regularly yeah. by yeah. numerous yeah. people regularly all the time. Please. By yeah. numerous people. Did she say right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, they have a, they have a yeah. variety of the pack. They have the, the, the variety pack. These wow. single men who are blowing out backs, who are they blowing it out with? I mean, it's two people uh, at, um, involved in sex. But what I was saying is the shade that she threw. Oh, we can ask them why they're single. Like, there's yep. a ton of people out there single and are failing at dating and finding companionship. And mm -hmm. it's not for them not being a good person or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Or being submissive. You know, what it, what it means is that Listen, I have not found what is I, I deem suitable for so, me. Allie, and therefore, I will try again. Um, another thing is, it, as we talk about history, let's not even date back to the Bible because we're on, we all have our own opinion. But I was, it was something I was looking at on social media when they were going over some of the advertisements that used to be out for women. 50s. Yeah, Oof. It, it, yeah back then. Oof. And is your woman this? Or, and I remember one day I was watching an episode of I Love Lucy. Mm -hmm. And I realized that was the third episode that I seen where Lucy was afraid of Ricky spanking her. Like he literally put her over his hand. And that back was a then, thing. That, was, that a was, thing. was a thing. Men used to beat their <laughs> wives like their children, like literally put them over remember their the lap and spank them. Yeah, they used to, it was a, it was a thing. It was acceptable. There was no domestic violence for a man to just... That they used to. That don't sound it, too bad. No, what, I, what I'm saying is, <laughs> there was no, there was no oh. repercussion for a man spanking or putting hands. That's why when I said women were practically given over to their husbands mm -hmm. to yeah. submit and be like a child under his care, she is now a, um, she she is now his um dependent, and listen, just like she said. You know, she's taken care of, she's whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know what? That situation works for her. As I And I, I hear what people are going to say. Most women want to be in a position where they can submit to their, to their man. I know this. Most women do. The thing about it is it's fear for why a lot of them, um, a lot of them are afraid of what it means, that what it, the, the definition, what are the terms of this agreement? Right. Um, and 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 I and that's where I feel like people make it a bad thing, where it can really be great. If you yeah. tr if you truly trust that your partner, and we're talking about submitting one to another. If if you truly trust me, that when you when you hand over certain things in my care, I'm gonna do right by you. You could yield, you could relax, and you mm -hmm. can give me free reign. And and likewise, if in my in my man, I feel like, hey, you got this. You you've showed by example. You're structured. I like where you're going. Your path. I you have a sound mind, and I know that you wouldn't purposely drop the ball. I'm going to yield. So okay. Um, I, I, Gina's I having like, a good time back there. <laughs> well, I, I want to hear like, somebody. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I feel like um that is where we get submission mixed up. Everybody yeah. does not deserve full submission. All Everybody right. Everybody does not deserve it. She Great right. point. Great point. Right. So I want to ask this question, right? Because we, we touched on a few things. So, so far we've touched on a few distinctions, right? We touched on, okay, there's submission 
and, and we, we we talk about control and dominance which is not good stuff right uh, yeah. healthy submission is involving in choice so if choice is a thing and you you're if somebody is in a relationship already and they're questioning submission did they fail at vetting their partner before they got into the relationship right should we That's put it. more work before to determine hey is this somebody i can submit to um you know we, we you know what's your vision where, where are you going what are you doing with your life so forth do you think we're dropping the ball in that department most definitely absolutely. yes absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you know what i always ask the question um because i see women complaining about that a lot mm -hmm. that men are not worth submitting to him and I ask, mm -hmm. why pick him? <laughs> As he eats a pineapple. <laughs> Gina, go ahead. Go ahead. Gina, go ahead. Come in on this. I mean, Debbie, you saying something? Good question. I said, yeah, what he said is true. If mm -hmm. they're not worth submitting to, why are you choosing to be with that person? What What's going on in your brain cells? We got another show for that one. But, uh, the rush to be with somebody, the rush, to, the fear of being single, the fear of being alone. Look at her. Something to brag about, something to be somebody and the fear to is be with real. someone. I'm telling yeah. you, but let me tell you, know. one thing Matt has said, more on touch upon something, go back a little bit. You hey, talk hey, your boyfriend's not here. Word? <laughs> <laughs> you said you want to. You said you want to talk. Sorry. <laughs> High five. No, don't, don't leave me hanging. No. Don't. <laughs> Camille is no. not. Don't sign on that man. Wow, Camille is not amused. Yes, she is. <laughs> what I was saying was, somebody, somebody said it. I think it was Camille who said it, and I think you did too, Carlo. BDSM, that community, submissives, subs, and doms. That's a real it thing. It is definitely about a choice. And mm -hmm. taking a class. You're taking what? She's yeah, taking a class. class. It's a beautiful On that? thing. <laughs> Wanna do the things, my girl. Yeah, if you're a dominant, you here. have you are accepting responsibility for the it's care and that, that safety person, yeah. of the person oh. who is submitting to you. Okay. I'm sorry. That's that's can you run that Debbie. back? Re play that play again. Replay. Debbie, replay that one. Play that I one again. What I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we <Yeah>. take notes. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're the dominant person, you are mm. accepting responsibility mm -hmm. for the care and safety of the person who is submitting to you, and they are trusting you mm -hmm. with their safety. Now you can't just go into that stuff blindly, which goes to what Mr. Truth Pills said. Oh, wait, yeah. is it Truth Pills? Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. And Carlo that said, are we vetting the people that we're choosing to be in relationships with appropriately? And we all unanimously, magnanimously, and whatever nanimous go along with that too, agreed, <laughs> we are not vetting these people properly. Therefore, he needs uh, some milk. He needs some milk. <laughs> Sorry, he needs some milk. <laughs> People we picking need some milk. All no, right. <laughs> we're not vet them, so we're not for complaining about them. Are we pick them? You have a choice in the matter, Horn State, and you didn't do your due diligence. So all right. Okay. Damn. All right. Okay. Say it with your chest. All right. Cool. I can hear that. I can hear that one dropping in the dance all the way. She said, We're not vet <laughs> them. No, we're not. <laughs> but, I think that's that that is that is the truth of the matter. And for um, for for our view viewing audience, you know, whether you're watching tonight or whenever you you, you come into to the podcast and, and you see this, this is something that has um, been a topic for all over social media for some time now. And um, in in our in our dating experiences, what we're looking for is we're <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> We, Go ahead. we we should be looking for someone who aligns with us to where um the thing that we're built we're trying so hard to build on our own this person comes into um our lives and they join us in that journey and what we've shared between each other there should be so much of an understanding that we could yield to each other um, because we we both know the end results. We both um, have agreed to, you know, the journey or whatever. 
So I know that this is your part and this is my part and we're operating in our, in our lane. So if, if I, um, if, if I'm counting on you, just like we're driving road trip, right? Road trip. Mm. The person behind the wheel is the driver. They're responsible for all the lives in the car. Now I can sit on the passenger seat like me. I'm a kind of person. I, I don't like to sleep while anyone is driving. So even when I'm not driving, if I if I want to take a nap, I have to know someone else is awake supporting that driver in case they're tired. So I'm good supporting the person that's driving. I'm not. I'm lying. Sometimes I sound too <laughs> drive. <laughs> don't but, be rude. Don't be but, rude. But you know what? It sometimes my side seat seat driving saves lives because it's. Every now and then, even the person that's in charge leading the road, he could miss something. And it's not me grabbing the wheel per se. It's me saying, hey, hon, did you notice that there? And he's like, oh. Or it, some, sometimes the driver might be like, man, I got it. You know? But that's that you need to make sure you cover your legs then when you're driving in the car because that would definitely be distracting like you know what i'm saying <laughs> either way somebody take this man's mic so um so basically what what i was saying is that you know the person who is driving at the moment they have the control and they are responsible for all the lives in the vehicle <laughs> Mm -hmm. So what they do, we're trusting them with our lives. For me, as I could, um, as I yield and I submit to my partner, I'm not going to fall asleep in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't trust him, but because I feel like um, I'm more of a watchman. Like you know, I just feel like I, I have to, to to check and make sure that everything is good. Make sure he's not missing anything. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now, if he's doing a great job and nothing is missed, or I can point out, baby, did you remember that? And he'll say, I got it, babe. All right. You know, I'm trying to be supportive. So that, for me, is in my um, in my submission. That's how you do it? That's how I kind of do it. Mm -hmm. um, but I would love to, after an example, after I've seen enough examples of, all right, he's got it, you know, so-and-so, then I relax more and more and more. But at the same time, I like to be there <laughs> to catch any anything. You know, I, I hope I'm making sense. Am I making no, sense? You're making a lot of sense. The okay, right yeah. lane driver, my girl, you can't tell him if the right lane clear before him cross over. The, there's a, so there's, yeah, there's a limit there. There is a limit there. But listen, I know somebody that do a lot of driving. Gina, huh? Do, are, are you the one driving all the time or is somebody driving with you how do you how do you um how, how's the driving experience <laughs> um i think you know the answer to that but uh since <laughs> camille and uh, brought brought the whole driving example i'm gonna pose the question so i keep hearing that in some sort of way you're not being vulnerable and you're not willing to give in to you still feel like you have to put in your two cents so my question would be to you is are you being submissive? Are you willing <laughs> to, to give in to him driving or her driving? And and my other question to the whole group would be, all I keep hearing is women. Are men not submissive? Oh. All right. Oh. That's a great, that's a great segue. That's a great give segue. Me some Listen, no, give no, 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 no. Hold examples. on. That's a great example for us to segue to the next question. Coming oh. in with it. Should men submit in a relationship or will that cause problem? Boom. Go ahead with the transition. <laughs> let's, with let's our go powers combined. Let me, let me come out. So I'm going to so, start with truth. Yeah, let's. Oh, who said so? No, no. Greg. I, 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 yeah, listen. Greg first. Truth next. Listen. One time at yeah. Bad Cam last. So, <laughs> so let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me speak to. Um, this, is, this is the problem, right? And. What I, what I often see is a double standard. And I started off with saying that basically we live in a very patriotic society mm -hmm. where men rule, men this. James Brown said it's a man world, but you know, he said it would be nothing without a woman, you know? Yeah, he said that. But the reality is like, whenever we see a man leading and a man leads the dominant and a man basically, you know, and a woman being submissive, it's like accepted, right? It is accepted. 
But oftentimes when the roles are reversed, when the woman is the dominant, and we're not talking about like, you know, chop them up, you know, beat them down, dominant, <laughs> meaning care of that one. We're talking about when she is like, you know, we're taking back to like the 30s and the 60s where I'm the lead, I'm going to do this and that, and he's going to submit to me. When those roles are switched, oftentimes, like, people talk down to that relationship. People talk mm-hmm. bad about it, like, oh, yeah, you know, no man want to be with a woman like that, this and that. And I'm like, yo, clearly a lot of men do because we have an example. And I don't know if I should go to that one already, Carlo, but, mm-hmm. you know. The like man we, has to be broken. Yeah, to, that's 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 to, that's to that's the term that a lot of a lot of a lot of other men or a lot of society will use is that oh don't no man want to be with that but like you absolutely because I use Corinne Stefan Stefan Superhead you <laughs> so know? I, I got Elizabeth. that clip loaded I got that clip loaded I, I in I the use chamber her as an example and here's my example to her right people talk about oh yeah don't nobody want to wife that but she's been wife three times like. Her, that people okay. people keep lining up to wife her. So hold on, a, it's because what that mouth do. But I'm a, I got the clip. I'm gonna play see, the clip. That's that's the type of stuff that men say, and it'd be like, bro. Okay. But if it was no. a man doing that, it's like, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna All tell right, you so, something. I'm so, gonna play okay. the clip. But before we play the clip, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Um, I think what I have to say would what would make more sense after the clip is after played. the clip. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna play this clip. And I'm going to ask you guys to listen carefully to what you're hearing her say. Okay? Actually, you know what? Lies, lies, lies. Let me, let me, because I feel like when, once you play the clip, it's going to change the trajectory of everything that's going Yeah, and I don't know if I want to play so, it yet because, because. You hear the bias in the room, guys? No, it's no bias. I want to play it, <laughs> no, no, but. No, no, no. Okay, so, so let me, let me, let me say what I'm saying. I, I, I would dare to go out on a limb and say that the men lining up to wife her, um, they have not transitioned to a point in their life where they realize what is important. And I say <clears throat> that as somebody... That's, that's an opinion, who, right? It's, yes, it's, it's yes. my opinion. Okay. And I say that as someone who was once at a place in my life where I made those rela- those relationship decisions based on mm-hmm. looks. Um, she's um, physically appealing. She's, she looks good. And a lot of guys just go with that. They're led by that. There's a reason why she is wife three times. The, the reason why she could be wife a second and a third time was because the first relationship didn't work out. The second marriage didn't work out. That's the only reason why she could be wife the third time, which means that these men are running into these relationships with her, but it's not working in long term. So it's good for the short term, but it's not something that is conducive to a long haul. You feel me? So when you're young and you're just running around having fun, yeah, that's cool. But when you're older, like you want substance. You feel me? So that's all I'm going to say. In and I'm going to interject right. Camille's point. So Two hold on, hold on, hold on. This. So Two hold on, hold on, it. hold on. We got a question down there that's coming up saying, does submission for men <clears throat> resemble submission for women? Do we want to finish it this then or do we want to hit this now? Hit it. Right. Hit, hit it, it now from the hit back. It. Hit it. All right. Hit it. All right. We're going to hit it from the back. All right, let's go. Wayne and Bao are my two boyfriends, and they're going to be calling 3 o'clock in the morning. Wayne had the house number. So now, mind you, I have my hmm. kid. My husband has his kid. We have kids. And by the way, it's my house that I pay for. I pay all the bills. Everybody's dependent on me. I'm the boss bitch. Like, you don't pay for nothing. You don't, you don't answer no funds around here. Whatever. I do the fuck out. You hear that? She do the fuck she want. Okay. Yes. And I'm What's sure she knew this prior to him oh, coming right. into that relationship. But I want you to hear that. And where does he live? In her, in her, her house. house. All right. I remember just waking up my husband like, hey, I'm like, I got to go. I'm taking the rover. You got to move your car. You couldn't move it to the street and then pull it yourself No, out. I'm not doing all this manual labor. <laughs> and then he would move the car. And then I remember one particular night I was in my car. I was backing out of the driveway. He moved his car into the street and then he gave me a kiss goodbye. I'm like, all right, baby, I'll see you in like two or three days. Not two or three days. <laughs> yes. And then I'd be gone for two or three days. And then I would go home to my husband and he would have my dinner waiting. My bath water ran. He I want to be like, like Elizabeth when I grew up. What and the then like fuck? a glass of wine. Like, welcome home, honey. Did you have fun? Yes, bitch. I had so much fun. Okay. So 
questions. And, and she left that relationship, by the way, because he was crazy. Okay. Yeah, he was crazy. He was crazy to. <laughs> oh, he was crazy to stay to, to, to get into that relationship. Hold, 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 we don't. Hold on. We don't know. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You don't we, know. We don't we don't know what he was like, right? He Facts. knows. Facts. Okay, I'm sure by the time he married her, were they married? This one? This was her they husband? Were. That was the yeah, first that was her husband, she said. He knew her represent her representation her reputation preceded her, I'm sure. He knew mm-hmm. exactly what he was getting into with Corinne. Uh, Corinne, Corinne, not Elizabeth. Yes. Corinne. Not Elizabeth. Corinne. Yep. Um and he knew. Hold what on, he was hold on, hold on, hold on. For somebody who missed that, what's the difference between Corinne and Elizabeth? She changed her name. Elizabeth. She it's rebranded re-branded. herself to be Elizabeth, you know. Because Corinne, oh. Corinne Stefan was with Superhead. That's what everybody knows her. Yeah. Right so why did the interviewer call her Elizabeth? Because, because she changed her, her name, name to Elizabeth. That's, that's her new name. Right. But her, we've been here from the 90s. We've been here in Karen Stephens. Exactly. Right. So you heard that sense. So Elizabeth is her new name? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Clarity. Doesn't Thank you. So, doesn't it sound so royal? Like the queen? Queen. Um. But anyway... He Bro, knew it. He was so we can kind of say in their relationship, she was the dominant one. Uh-huh. He submitted to her. If it worked for them, that she would leave her children in the home and go and have sex with little Wayne or whatever. Bow wow. Bow wow. Exactly. You see that anyway, face? You see left that bow wow for a whole weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like leaving. It's like leaving my son for my son. Anyway, um. Leaving to go have sex for a weekend and come back, you know, and hug her children, and he was okay with it, you know, whatever floats their boat, you know. Um, and and you know what? And let me tell you this. As, <laughs> Hold as on, Greg, wait, said, Greg said, Greg said she left, and there is a reason she left. There's no way she could respect someone that would allow her to do that to them. I don't she think, cannot I think respect that we, person. We don't, to we be don't honest know that. with you, though, I think she left. I think more than likely <sighs> she left all of her men. Hold she on, did. hold um, on. That's her exactly. If you know anything about her, she leaves all of her men. All right, but, right. And, that's her, and, and I want you to pay attention to that. Gina, what do you think about what you just saw? And your friend, what do you think about what you just saw? <laughs> Funny, number one. Number two, um... <laughs> I see a, I see a, a, a several issues. Uh, again, the 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 negative connotation that we keep giving to submission, um, mm-hmm. taking advantage of. Mm-hmm. I'm a successful woman, if that's what you want to call, or if that's what she wants to call herself. I pay everything around here. I do what I want to do. I I I just don't. You know, I, <laughs> you're. The, so you're the, saying that wasn't submission. I mean, or is that is that what you're saying? You don't equate what was going on there as submission? No, I mean she's clearly overusing, <laughs> you know, or taking advantage of of the fact that she's got money, maybe you know, or that she's able to. Prov- I mean, yes, the two don't go together to me just because I can provide or or you know, whatever as a female. <laughs> right. Others. Okay. I think he was getting his cake and eating it too. I mean, at the end of the day, she was Corinne Stephens. He probably felt mm. like, "Hey, I'll take whatever I can get." I'm not trying to right. be funny. He's probably like, "Yo, I'm glad she left for the weekend. She probably, he probably didn't want to mm-hmm. be around her for that long either. He, he wanted peace. He wanted to watch the game. It's a big old house under her mm-hmm. air condition and her, uh, you know, you know, I want that AC. You know, he got the light going, got his uh, good food, and the kids leaving him alone, and he don't have to be around <laughs> her. And when she come home, he'll get some sex from her. After yeah, I think fresh the other, off the wing. Yeah, the, other, the, other, the other thing that we're not thinking about too is that you know, is that this was an agreement that that worked because she was with this guy for several years. So this was right. an agreement that worked for them, and it was documented that she dealt with Wayne for years. You know, because in the nineties, like I said, I followed her because of like her books research and everything purposes. she wrote. Yeah, me too. Yeah, research yeah, purposes. Yeah, yeah. Research yeah. purposes. Oh, no, no, he I, was I, her, I, Wayne was her ultimate. He's always Wayne been her was. ultimate. There was there's nobody that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, there's nobody that would uh do we know jump, him? jump through hoops. Do we know what he feels? I mean, we're all speculating. This is just two sides oh, to us. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Two sides. I want to ask a question, but before I do, my sister has been making faces. What you're making a lot of faces. Is it, is it because Lil Wayne? Is it why are you making the faces? Because I'm having seizures. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, 
because of That's some my of the family. things that she said. <laughs> some of the stuff that she said out there, I was like, wow. And I, I'm I'm taken aback. And then I seen the level of the 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 the, the, the I can't say caliber, but <clears throat> not even luminosity. Why the words them can't come in my mouth. The celebrity, the fame of the people that she was dealing with, also. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, then I'm wow. gonna place I'm gonna play something then that is uh not necessarily contrast and but household. It, it's um it's a little bit in contrast in what uh um somebody defining what submission looks like um for them, mm -hmm. what they saw growing up. Let's take a look at what uh he has to say about it. Oh, household mom, yeah. my father and my grandmother. I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I what did we hear in the last video clip? Boss bitch. She's a boss bitch. bitch. Look the part. All right. But I don't act the part. Okay. A woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know, you don't know when to be quiet. You don't know how to allow a man to lead. Okay, so that's it. What do you guys think about what he had to say? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm, I'm all Kim, ears. Kim, okay. you, you cheesing. Let I'm me tell ears. you why. Okay, so I'm let's. Okay, what's the guy's name first of all? Because I know he paid. That's, that's uh, what's them Cam Newton. Cam. Cam. Okay, player. so okay, so let's just yeah. say that he is a guy who he has money. That that mm -hmm. part. Not a regular Joe Schmo. You, you see how the roles have switched now? Go ahead. Right now, he has money. He's not a regular Joe Schmo. He's not just talking out his behind. Mm -hmm. Kim in her twenties would have had a huge problem with that clip. Kim. Kim now. as in you. Kim now. Kim is in me. Right. Give me cakes now. I don't have a problem with anything he's saying because yeah. it depends on your perspective on how you look at that. Okay, so let's just say not even my role to a man, just my role as a person, right? I don't, I, I don't think I could be bad, or how bad could I be if I can't? And when he says you can't, I, I, maybe I'm digging too deep. You can't cook, or you know, you don't know when to be quiet. To me, mm. as a woman, a grown <laughs> woman, I think that just based off of me not even being in a relationship, being married, or I have a relationship with a man, uh, that's a quality or something I should have as a part of who I am anyway. Like, that's mm -hmm. like if I'm coming to, like, when I say, I'm, I'm looking at it as like how I could take care of myself first anyway. I, I want to mm -hmm. be the best representation of myself if I'm going to be in a relationship with someone. I'm mm -hmm. not saying, oh, I have to cook and I clean. I told y'all last couple of shows ago how my husband was telling me how the food I cook was nasty. And I was pissed about it. Okay. So let's start there. I'm very transparent about that. So right. what I'm saying is if, and with growth, my cooking is good. Probably not as good as Camille's. I've been begging her to cook some so I can come eat, but <laughs> you know, not as good as that, but I'm, 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 I'm good. I can, my, my family's still alive. So what I'm saying is those qualities that you would have to look into yourself and say, Hey, you know, am I this person? Am I the best version of myself before I meet someone? So I and and me, I I learn now to, as y'all know, I love to talk. I nobody holds me down, but I know when to be quiet when it comes to my husband. Absolutely, I know when to shut. I have bit my tongue lots of times. Times when I know I shouldn't. I I feel like I probably should not bite my tongue. Can I can I ask you a right? question, Kim? I mean, I'm um, Kim. Yeah. Okay. Is 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 it reciprocated where he does the same thing? Yes. Okay. Good. Cause that's, yes. that's, that's, yes. that's, that's the equality yes. that, that mm -hmm. I look for because it's yeah. not one way and it's, mm -hmm. it's the other thing. And oftentimes Absolutely. when a lot of men speak like that, they're not reciprocating that. Yeah. They're not, they're mm -hmm. like Cam Newton. You know, I don't, I don't know what his marriage is like, but I'm just like, huh. <laughs> well, know? well, hold on. No, let me ask you a question about that. Cause we, we, as Gina mentioned something earlier about where we're uh, assuming a few things, he, he mentioned something, but it doesn't mean that you're not listening. Right. Uh, somebody saw the clip and you're like, wow, Cam with the exclamation marks there. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. And I, I added two people to the panel tonight because these are two women who 
um, and and you know, I, I wanted to. Um, one of the questions we had there are that I, I submitted is, um, when do men submit? Where, how, and why do men submit? And they've seen a lot of men submitting, right? And they're also doing their thing and what have you. And I wanted to speak from them to speak from their perspective as women in the whole thing, and also where they've seen men submitting and all this other stuff, so they could speak to both sides of the conversation uh, and so forth, <clears throat> because there's a lot in the situation with Cam. I'm adding something where I want you guys to potentially consider this. Is it possible that he's not saying the woman can't talk and she just needs to be quiet? Is it know when to be quiet? He didn't say be quiet and don't speak all the time. He says know when to be quiet. Exactly. Similar to, similar well, I mean, to when we... It. Right, he said that. And a lot of people will take things and stretch it. Just like even back when we, we take the piece out of the Bible, when who was it? Was it Paul or whoever said women should be quiet in the church? Right? A lot of people take that out of context and don't realize, hey, the women and the men didn't sit next to each other. So my wife, I'm, me and the rest of the men are sitting on the left side of the church. The women are sitting on the right side of the church. The women don't talk to other men. They talk to their husbands. So if she has a question, she's not talking to the priest, she's talking to me across the church. So what happens when all the ladies have questions about what they heard and they're talking to the men? What happens then? It's confusion. Okay, yeah, so but, they but say, wait, wait, so wait, they wait, say, wait. Wait. yes. <laughs> Guys, but we don't know that's what happened. No, we know that's no, what happened not, back then. No, 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 that, 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 hold on, guys, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. This is what I'm saying, no, 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 no. As I say that, for lack of knowledge, we perish. And because we don't understand mm -hmm. things, we take things out of context and, 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 and take it the wrong way. The reason why it says that in the Bible is not because women should shut up. No, it's because the women sat on one side of the church and the men sat on the other. And typically, just similar to what you might see in some other cultures, you don't just talk to any man, you talk to your husband. I get but it. Listen, so but men, listen, but so listen, listen, but let me, but let me, but let me, but let me speak to what Car Carlo is saying in response to Greg. Let's, let's, let's not dive actually, too deep into that, though. No, we're not diving into that. But I, 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 no, hang on, that's, that's fine, because um, I, I have to say this. Um, it continues to create the context where it says, if she has a question, you should explain these things to her at home where you're not disturbing the, the, the gathering. So we do know that's exactly the context that Carlo said earlier. We're not just like pulling this out of that's, that's here. Not, that's, that's not what I was saying. Or so we saying? weren't there, so we didn't know the context. That's what you said. No, absolutely, but my point is, is if we're saying that, okay, she can't talk to anybody else, my point is, that's where the thing, it, it goes one-sided. It's woman this, woman this, woman this. So the man speaking in church, they, they spoke, we do, how do we know, hey, y'all two back there in church, we talking about whatever. We don't know that. We're literally going off of what somebody wrote in a book or what history, whatever so called says. There's a, my bro, there's is, a, there's a literal culture. The Jewish people are right there. Bro, you could go bro, talk to them. This is but, why we can't talk. We can't talk about this because we we're not equally yoked. That's, that's right. why we can't, we can't discuss so, it. So, and that's why we're having a conversation and I'm sharing information and context with you to add to it. Just like I'm going to take it back to Cam and say, for example, when like, like even me, if I'm dating a woman, I don't want her to shut up. Right. There are mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. when it may not be the right time, just like it's time for me to shut up at certain times. She may be handling that situation with her family and it might not be time for me to speak because that's her. You know, there's certain things there. But in other situations, it might be time when it's not best to speak right now. Chill. Right. And we do that. For example, in a conversation about protection, Angela Bassett and her husband, they're walking on the street, paparazzi coming at them or somebody doing something wrong. And he's like, babe, chill. I, I got this. Right? Chill. Right. And but some women don't do that. They don't know when. They gotta turn up and then you, especially you if she's more especially if she has more status than the, the man. Right. There's something else. But I, I I was only bringing context to that to ask you to consider the man is not saying shut up. That right. you can't talk. Because I'll tell you this, any man that's worth his salt, you got some guys that are out here playing around, but anybody that's worth his salt, you want somebody you can have some conversation with and some good pillow talk with. Mm -hmm. And you may have a, a, a long or rough day and you want some brain cells next to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. having a woman that has some brain cells that has good feedback, good input into what you're saying, and sometimes can give you some insight from the feminine side of the, of the spectrum or, or, and her experience is makes a world of difference. 
right? It's a beautiful thing. And I don't think there's any, well, there's some men, as we mentioned before, that have control issues. And, and those guys may be unbalanced. But we, we, we want to highlight the differences and talk about what's healthy. All right, so cool. So, so we, we touch, anybody want to touch anything before I go into what men submitting looks like? And do men submit? Go ahead, Camille. A lot has taken place and I'm just sitting back quietly. The last time I spoke, um, Gina came behind me and she asked me a question and I thought I'd be able to answer it. Mm. Um, so she said to me, it's, um, is it that I'm, I'm not able to be vulnerable? And, and she asked me, can I or do I submit? It's been so long. Um, I, think I, ha I think I have a great balance. And um, I, when it comes to that, I don't even have to speak for myself, to be honest. Um, my partner can speak for me. Um, so as it pertains to um, your question, Carlo, in regards to the whens, the whys, and the hows, um, that's one of the things that I've learned and it is a game changer. As a woman understanding your power and your mm -hmm. timing, Facts. it is a game changer. Mm -hmm. um, it creates a kind of home that is amazing. What is a you game know? changer? Understanding timing, you know, with your partner. When, when you talked about- Oh, when to speak when, or when to be quiet. When, when Cam, yes. When to, yeah. When Cam talked about it, you know, he, the way he said it, men are really, sometimes you guys lack tact. And, That's no, we're saying. direct. It's and called being direct. direct. Yep. We're direct. Okay. So your delivery, <laughs> your direct delivery yeah. leaves out a lot of, of stuff for the female brain. Put it right. that way. We need the details because there's just too many don't leave room for interpretation mm. you, you understand well, uh, we need the fine print when you're dealing with each other yeah things you could say with men certain things go without saying mm. but yeah. with women and as it pertains to me my life um let's talk about the fine print baby that's cool that's what, where what great questions yes. so um as you were saying before knowing when to speak, understanding mm. your man's temperance. You can see him from the minute he walks in. You can hear it in his voice. There is a rhythm in your relationship, in your companionship between each other that you begin to know. Like with me and my companion, um, if I'm not myself or something, never miss it. Because there's, there's a rhythm with me. And it, it, it feels good when you are in tune with, with each other. And as a woman, you should be in tune with your man. And men, you should seek to do it with your woman as well. Mm -hmm. that to, to the point that you know in your submission to him, um, if you want to talk about something, this right here, maybe is not a good time. So I could yield it because I, I see that he's having a moment. Now is my turn to step up. Maybe I could see if I can help him get through this moment and vice versa. There are things at place. Um, we talked about being in relationship. You know, you have to you have to maintain that relationship on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And we have to just like and, and it goes both ways um, because men do have. I, I believe that in any kind of relationship, there it, it's. Again, I'm referring back to the, the, the rules of traffic. You have to yield the right of way to whoever is coming forward in that lane. If, mm -hmm. that, if one person just always going and, and you, then one person would always be standing there and never move. You understand? That means mm -hmm. they, they really have no function. Their job is just to stand still. Mm -hmm. And who wants to be that? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Everybody has purpose and everybody has some something to offer that is valuable. That mm -hmm. would be the reason why you choose that person. Right. So that thing that you find value in in that person, you yield to them so that they can move in that lane. And the what they find value in, in you, 
you yield to them so they can move in that lane and you guys get to um, maintain that on a daily basis. And there will be times when one person, for whatever reason, might need to step back and allow the other person to, can you take over today and go in that, that way? And that is what relationship is. It's constantly yielding one to another for the purpose of getting things done. Okay. All right. I, um, I, I agree. And I want to add to what Camille had said the first time before, as far as um, developing that trust takes time. So mm-hmm. you do need multiple, you have to, we, we, Carla asked a question earlier about vetting. I think that's a part of the vetting process to pay attention to the person, to determine whether the person is trustworthy because you're not going <laughs> to fall asleep the first time you drive with them, you know, but over and over you drive with the person, that's they've consistently shown that they're safe. Then it's easier yeah. for you to close your eyes and nod off a little. That, I think mm-hmm. that's all she was saying. I, I can speak to that. I can speak to that. I can honestly say I did not vet. <laughs> I, I got, I, I've been in a relation. I've been with the same person since oh, I was 20. I'm 41. You know, I've been married for a good long time now. And um, I think like, like, like truth pill said, it's, you learn a person, you know, um, I, I'm, I trust my husband with every part of me, but that came with time. I did not right. have, and I've told you all before, I never had a, full and deep, deep trust in it. I just felt like it was a thing to do and we had love and that was all we needed, you know, didn't know that you were going into something that really takes a lot of work and, and, uh, and trust. And um, yeah. And yeah, it it, it is a, it's a practice. It really is a practice because my mouth, (laughs) this mouth here, (laughs) it, it, you, you would, (sighs) Me being quiet is um, a privilege. Superpower. Sometimes. Yes, it's a superpower. It's something that I don't even know how to, you know, proving my point was a, a great thing for me. Mm. I would probably wake him up in the middle of the night to say, okay, remember this. Let me just let you know why I'm right. So, of course, I would want to <laughs> say what I want to say, do what I want to do, speak how I want to speak, you know. I, I, I have even gone out and thrown out here. That's, that's my child. What do you mean? That's my kid. Knowing that we share the same child, I have said that my <laughs> child is six. So I'm just telling you, it's just it's a it's a process. I'm I'm not I'm 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 okay with correction. I know I, I'm still a work in progress. All right, I, um, I, 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 I'm 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 taking the risk of saying something that is slightly unrelated, but it's so related. This right here highlights the reason why this whole fight for inequality for, for equality is in the context of women have their own superpower. Mm -hmm. Mm. Men have their own superpower. Mm. When a woman wants to be equal with a man, it's because she doesn't understand her power. I I don't want equality. I want equity. I I, I don't want, I'm going to be honest with you. I want equity. I don't want equality because if somebody comes to my door right now to break it down, and my husband is going to mm-hmm. run the safe and get the gun out. I want him to protect my home and my child. I don't. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm right. not going to be the first one to go out there. I want equity in this. I don't want. Equality. And that's a, and that's and that's a stereotype that we've accepted. Yeah. And and men and men are okay with it because we understand it is what it is. We are we are the pro, the, the protectors. You feel me? So that's why mm-hmm. recently we were having a conversation where I said some stereotypes. We don't need to pull them down. They, 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 it just is what it is. Some are healthy and some are not healthy. You feel me? And I, I, I do believe that men are supposed to be protectors. You, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna disagree with that. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Debbie. Okay. So first thing to 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 go with both of you, Truth and Kimmy. Um, she's correct. I don't want to be equal to him. He needs that because I made that comment to my person the other day and I was like, I am very tired of being the man and the woman. It's tiring. Mm-hmm. I don't have the energy for that shit. Agreed. I, I need agree to this. a man to handle this bullshit that I'm dealing with 
And I'm not cut out for that. That's what right. men do. And I I'm should a, have to handle it. I'm going to tell you what that is shortly. You just go ahead. calm down and let me finish, please. Uh, Greg, go ahead. After this, after she's <laughs> done, go after yet. Gina next. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, there's a role that I, I want to play that I do quite well. And the fact that I've had to fill in the male's role for like most of my adult life I'm not going to call it nothing bad or nothing. It, it served its purpose. Absolutely. But I just. Sucks. I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> you know, we've done it. And I'm just like, that's just not the thing that it, it wears you down. And I'm not, I'm not Sorry, in that energy yeah. anymore. I just don't want to deal with that part. Um, I want to answer this question. Should men in a relationship submit or does that, or will that cause a problem? In my opinion, Yes but they need to know or understand when it's okay to submit. It's not all the damn time that men submit. If there is something where in my- What? My power, my superpower that I bring to the situation <laughs> as, as, as the other half of this. And he, okay, that makes sense, yeah. And then of course he he'll he'll all right cool I submit to that I can I can we can roll with that it's it's for the greater good it's for our the benefit of all parties involved mm -hmm. let's roll um, is it gonna cause a problem well within that spectrum no it won't because it's for the greater good it's gonna benefit everybody it's not a power dynamic it's not a power struggle we doing this to make everything to make it okay to I'm balance. And before that, you did some vetting to make sure you, you was with somebody that... Word. All right. Uh, Greg, give me a second. Gina, you wanna? You already said what you were saying? <laughs> it sucks? Or you got some more? <laughs> no, that's it? Greg. <laughs> yeah, so to follow up with your sister. Jeez, I forgot. Debbie. So no, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm with Debbie. So I think, I think it's... Um, I think it's 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 Miss Smith. like Miss Smith. Well, yeah, Miss Smith. <laughs> so, what do you prefer? Do you prefer Miss Smith or do you prefer Debbie? What, what do you want? No one half does not the other. I'll answer either or. All right, cool. So back to Debbie. So, I think learning and knowing the opposite side. It's again, it's it's not desired, you know, to understand a male's role because here's the reality. The reality is. Um, Everyone isn't going to be married. Everyone isn't going to be in a relationship for for the rest of their lives, and they're going to grow old with somebody. So that's not that's not the reality. Because again, we have a lot of single grandmothers. We have a lot of single mothers. Um, it's not the reality. So what I would say is, it's critical that yes, if you've learned the male roles and you basically had to deal with it, it's critical that you learn that so that you can apply it in your life. Because if you don't have a man around to do whatever, right. it shouldn't be oh. I'm the man, I do this, this, and that. It's like, yeah, if there's no man in the house, um, you run and you, you know how to change the tie, you change the tie, you do all these things. Mm -hmm. You know, the use of that knowledge is powerful to you. I mean, yes, it is bullshit, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, as far as I think um, the answer about if men submitting, is it problematic? I think not, because here's the thing. I think the reality is, like, if you have it where, you know, I think it's a 50 50. That's just what that's just why I go to. And that's what works in my house. Um, OK, because I can be that's basically I can be a, a, a hothead. And when I'm a hothead, she knows that she she has to transition and be the calm one, you know, so vice versa. When she's a hothead, I know that basically we're not going to accomplish anything if I keep up with my way. Yes. So I'll switch those roles, you know, so I think. Exactly, you know, so, problems. and the one thing is, I'll tell you, like I said, when I tell you I have a peaceful home, I have a peaceful home because we will switch back and forth respectfully, you know, like a lot of people think that, you know, other. we yield to each other, you know, because I know my strong suit, I know her mm -hmm. strong suit, I know yeah. what she's good at and I know what I'm good at and we're going to do that. So I'm never going to come home and be like, yo, why didn't you cook today? Because it's just not what she don't do. That's right. my thing. But I'm never going to come home to like, dirty house, dirty dishes, dirty laundry, mm -hmm. because we understand our roles. I'm never going to come home to like, where I have to run home and do all these things with my daughter because she's already been doing it. You know, so we have those specific 
things that we do and it works for our household. You know, so I think in, in reality and in all, like relationships are, your, you make it your own. You make it what works for you. Yeah. I just That's don't true. like the imbalance where, you know, what again, society shows where it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's the double standard. So I play devil advocate a lot. Like I have all girls, you know, so I make sure that my girls understand that you're not just going to basically walk into a relationship and just do as he says and whatnot. That's just not right. going to be it. It right. needs to be level playing field. He can mm -hmm. lead you absolutely, but you can also lead him because I've learned so much by letting her lead, you know? So it's roles that we play, we interchange, you know? So I think that's critical. All right, so my, I'm gonna my go husband ahead would say the same thing you said, Greg. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, give her give a, an applause for your husband on that one. Um, I'm gonna read some comments, and then <laughs> I'm gonna we're gonna go into the next the next question. So the comments that we have here are um, uh, uh, the, the, the OG. Um, you know, he said what he said before. OG said, uh, "I believe in the past submission was done out of fear." Uh, he gave his view on that. Um, he said in modern times, and this may be from previous parts of the conversation, in modern times, not many individuals understand the level of respect uh, for the roles and responsibilities of that role. Uh, we're going to dig into that a little bit more. He also asked a question, a question for the woman. Is it normally, is it a normality for them to choose who and when to be submissive, um, choosing what they are willing to submit to and for? Um, what do you think about that question? Is it a normality? A norm I would say, I would think so. So is it normal for women to choose who and when to be submissive and uh, uh, what and what are they willing to submit for, to and for? Camille, yeah. you got something? I think that's a part of the vetting. So mm -hmm. I, I hear a lot of men talk about, oh, she's not submissive or this or that or blah, blah, blah. In the getting to know process, right? as I'm watching you and we're going, we're, we're doing our give and takes, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're finding our rhythm and I'm watching how you handle things, how you handle your personal life and mm -hmm. how you handle me when we're together. So the more I run into conflict of how you're managing yourself and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and how you're managing yourself in my presence and, mm -hmm. and, and how you're playing the role of protector, provider, whatever, professor, whatever, what else, what, what, what you're doing as a man, your role as mm. a man, mm. how you're handling that, how you're able to foresee or, or be proactive to certain things or whatever. I, I'm, I'm taking note of those things. You know, your response to uh, people as we move <laughs> around, it's not even just about me. How do you interact with other people? I understand what I do for a living. And in my space, I'm already seeing, okay, if I go somewhere with you, am I going to be able to trust that you can handle the room? Mm -hmm. um, or are you going to be able to add value to what I do? And can something that I offer you, we're talking about looking for, for someone I could submit to. Once mm -hmm. I start to tell you what I do and you start putting a little... Um, you know, advice or whatever and saying, perhaps if you do this, let me, let me help you structure that. You look like you're, I look for things like that in, 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 in my person because right. I, I need someone that is going to offer wisdom, you know, structure, guidance, protection, always looking out for me. Someone that has learned to manage their own thing. All mm -hmm. of these things matter in the vetting um, for Devon's question. So if I don't like certain things and how you speak to me too mm. a lot of times with 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 men get them in trouble um sometimes men are they speak to women in a way where it sounds like you see them as a, a sex object or something like that and okay. that and that says to a woman okay boy if i let you lead you're probably going to use me up for sex and go about your business. If you start leading with sex, you know, or leading in that way, you, and if you start talking about that before you start talking about who I am as a person or whatever, you know, I'm not going to submit to you. I'm more than likely going to put up walls to start protecting myself. 
because your language is not showing me that you're protecting me. Okay. So I will yield my submission from a man like that and, and slowly process of elimination will get rid of you. Okay. So so this is in vetting. This is in the vetting stage in before you. All right. Once cool. you're married, once you choose someone, then all of that is already done. You you finally made it through and you found one. You so you let on the like walls that. and let them in the walls. All of right. Course. Cool. Got it. Like it. Like it. Like it. <laughs> I let it slide. It's still a process, though. I think it's still a... I still think you, you can be married. You can be married or in a long-term... You can be married or in a long-term relationship, too, and then when. you realize that this person is not submitting the way you want him to. Yeah. Or it's not working. So. All right. So th th that, that's a good point. All right. So now, um, I think that one of the ideas out there is that um, or a lot of people have not seen or don't recognize... Or, or um, do men submit, right? Where, how, and why do men submit? And I want to ask, um, ladies, do you know when men submit? Have you seen men submit? Uh, men, Camille, Kim? Men submit to each other every day. Um, they do it on their job. Um, you know, they, they, they submit. I seen an example someone posted online a couple months ago about um, you know, football players or athletes submitting to their coach who can't do what they do, but, you know, they have the knowledge of the game and they go through sleepless nights coming up with these plans and mm -hmm. they study the other teams and whatever. So men submit um, to, you know, the, I guess the different power structures, they submit daily um, as it pertains to when they come home. Um, and what submission looked like, I think men submit to their wives all the time. They yield to her to run a household, mm. you know, you know, they, you, you, they yield to her for things like that to, to, to manage certain things, um, and to create schedules. And, and a lot of men yield to the, the schedules that the wives lay out, you know, babe, this is what we got on the calendar for the week. I need you to go do this and do that and blah, blah, blah. Again, it's yielding one to another. That the woman is the structure in that lane. She is um, the planner and the organizer. And he relies on her to keep that structure. And he yields to her to do her part because she's strong in that area. So little things like that, you know. Um, they, they, there are roles that are assigned. And the person who's in charge of those roles, obviously, Whoever is the project manager on whatever that thing is, you have to yield to them. So, yeah, I, that's how I witness it. That's my input. Okay. Um, all right, Kim, you see, um, do you, have you ever observed or seen men submit? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, would, I, would, um, I would add to what Camille is saying. So in a relationship, I, I think you're going to have to have a choice to sub. There's, there's submission... Um, if you've been in a long-term relationship, especially, there's somebody submitting to someone at a certain time. And there, there will be certain points if it's not a regular practice. Mm -hmm. um, and I do think, you know, with understanding and as long as you talk and have communication about what roles and how you define them, then of course, yeah, that I, I have seen, I've seen it happen. You know, it's funny, I was reading an article earlier when I was researching this topic and a lot of things that I saw, a lot of women think, men don't and especially black men mm. they think black men have an attitude uh towards submitting um to women especially like a lot of one girl i was reading about was saying her father she was speaking to her father about it he said submit to who your mama you know like um things like that you know like uh, probably you know based on history he's a he's a he's her father she's a woman in her 30s or 40s she probably felt like, you know, or he felt like he didn't need to submit to her mom. But I'm sure in a lot of ways he probably did, you know, um, and just didn't realize it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, so, I, I do think it, it happens whether you feel like it does or not. If you've been in a long term relationship, not even just a marriage, you living with somebody, there's somebody submitting at some point. Mm -hmm. OK, so so to, to my ladies here. Um, I'm gonna go with Gina this time. Um, where talk to me about men submitting? Where have you seen it? What does it look like? Mm. 
Do you see men submitting every day or they don't submit? Like, what does what, what, what do you think about that? Have I seen it? Yes. Again, um, that negative connotation that, that goes with it. Mm -hmm. so it's going to hurt their ego, I guess, especially if the female is the, the, the money maker, the breadwinner, whatever the, the, the definition is or the, the name to it is. But, um, but have I seen it? Yes. Starting from my step, my, my awesome stepfather, which, you know, mm. um, you know, we, we come from a background, <laughs> strong, strong, right? Quote unquote, uh, females. Yeah. So then, um, I witnessed that a lot. Mm -hmm. He's probably the one giving in most of the time because she has a harder time, you know, making that decision though. She knows how important it is because again, goes, I, I'm going right back to my definition, giving in, especially if you want it to work out, you know, the relationship or whatever. Right. Kind of okay. Go. Um, back to the grandparents and back to that time. No, not at all. Grandma would be the one to submit. You know, it's, grandpa said something, just, it just goes. And she turns to all of us and her, and her children, just, just, it's grandpa, just do what he says, you know? <laughs> so no, from the grandparents, no, but from my stepfather, my father didn't do it. Clearly that's why the relationship didn't work. Um, I've seen it in my own relationships. So again, it's taking away the negative connotation. You know, the submission has happened. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. But with everything, you know, I mean, <laughs> so. I agree. Yeah. So yeah. then, so, so that's in relationships then. What about, uh, so that's family and relationships. What about work? I'm in the military. I mean, you know, my, my, my uh, commander's a male. And there's lots of males that answer to him. And so they, they have to give in to what he says. I mean, he, he's the boss. Yes. <laughs> okay. Every day. Definitely at work. Correct. All right. Yes. Um, Ms. Smith, Debbie. Work. Thank you, Gina. No, she's not in the military no more. She can't say that. Not nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> what had happened was I was a commander <laughs> and I had my first sergeant was a male. And most of my staff, with the exception of a handful of females, they were male. So they had to submit Thank to you. what I said and the decisions that I had to make, um, even, you know, and I had to also submit to my superiors who were, well, you know, it doesn't matter. They were, they all outranked me. So, you know, I was, it, and it just runs downhill like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I've seen men submit um they do have i've witnessed the different ways that we were able to circumvent submitting when you didn't really believe that that decision was a, a, a um in the best interest of whoever um i I've, I've witnessed all of that kind of stuff too but yes i i have and i have seen it happen at work i've i've had it happen with me so yeah absolutely do you think uh, then oh go ahead you're not finished go ahead no, I am. Go ahead. Do you think that men have um easier time submitting? You know what? I would say that um, it depends on the situation. They may or may not. And it also depends on the level of maturity of who you're looking at um, mm -hmm. uh, in that instance. When it comes to men working with each other, collaborating, yeah, they don't have any issues submitting unless there is, you know, like a really distinct and obvious ego play going on. Um, but yeah, at work, I've seen it where it's just it's just a thing, even if somebody doesn't necessarily agree with the decision that is being made. But you know what? We put in our two cents. The final decision is made. Got it. Concur. Let's roll with it. Let's make it happen. You know? And then they go like that in a relationship. Um, same thing, you know, sometimes it's just it's just better to do that, to, to, to submit um, or yield given whatever the case may be. So, yeah, I think I don't think they have a I think if they are aware, then it's not hard for them to submit at all. That's what I say. So, so what I have here, uh, do you have anything else you want to add? I'm, I'm gonna, I, 
I'm gonna reference a clip. I don't think I need to play the whole thing, but I, I saw this um, a show similar to Survivor. Um, it, uh, what is it? Beer Gillis, uh, The Island. And they had a, a series, a whole season on men versus women, where they put a group of men on an island and another group of women on another island and the, the um, or the same island, but at a different time. And the challenge was to make it to the other side um, before sunset. Uh, and then once you get there, you know, you need to set up camp, get food, all these other things. And when they put everybody on the island, probably about midday, you had to get over to the other side before sundown so you could set up shelter, build a fire and those things. And as you kind of, as you just pointed out, the men quickly formed a hierarchy who had the most experience and they submitted to that leadership right away. They climbed over the island, went to the other side, you know, because you had to find your way. There's no path, right? You had to figure it out, get over there. And, um, you know, they followed that, got there, got everything done. Whereas for the ladies, they didn't because they were trying to form committees and they wanted everybody to have a vote. And then they didn't build a fire in time and sunset came and they were still on the other side, among other things. So I think, um, I think, being honest with ourselves about what our strengths and weaknesses are is important. Um, and I think that um, some other gems were, were, were dropped before. We're going to go on some other questions here, but some of the gems that were dropped before is, um, I think, when we talked about uh, uh, the, the superpowers, right? The superpowers that we have respectively. And if we don't know what our superpower is, then we tend to want the other person's and then we may not be so good at that. So let, let, let's, let, me, let me move on to something else. I think we kind of touched on this question already. Uh, what does some miss, uh, submissive man look like, his actions? Do you think we answered that already? I think we did. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so then I'll ask this to be more, ex more, more specific about this question. Uh, and this may be a quick question, right? We, we're at uh, 1147, where we got maybe 15 more minutes. Um, how does a man being submissive help a relationship? Does it help or does it, is it, does he need to be submissive? Uh, yes or no? You answered that already. You answered that already? I think we did, we touched on it already. Uh, we, we talked about, um, I don't think we said need. Uh, one of the things is, I feel like people, they live what they're taught. So if you're taught that, hey, you don't listen to any woman, you make sure you rule the house and you do this, then you're, you're always going to look out for a woman telling you what to do or, and you're, even if she's saying it to you softly or, or, or she's saying, honey, X, Y, Z, so and so and so, um, in the privacy of your home, pillow talk. I'm the man, I got it, you know, and she might have more knowledge in that area. So it, I feel like people live what they're taught. So mm -hmm. in, in, in many ways we were, we discussed, um, and Gina kept saying it, it depends on your definition of submission. It, it's, it's all these negative things that people have attached to it. Mm -hmm. um, and so when we talk about submission now, and I hear men, still recklessly um, do not understand the, the, what um, Truth was saying earlier, that it means that, listen, if you're in charge, if the, sink, if the, the ship sinks, it's on you. You know, to whom much is given, much is required. Is, yep, yep, yep. And what happens is a lot of people just want to um, have the title of leaders ship and they do not understand how to run a ship and okay. um and that's where i think our, in modern day we're having the issue everyone has not been properly trained how to lead everyone has not been properly trained what leadership looks like how to um to manage and so uh when you run into a situation and you 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 want to be it. Like, I, I'm it, I'm it, but you have no experience, mm -hmm. you know? And and sometimes it's sad to say that a woman, her experiences, her job training, her whatever, has probably taught her to be a little bit more structured 
in in modern day now than back in the day when men used to mm -hmm. have more of the man management position and so she now has is equipped mentally to understand order whoa that doesn't look right that doesn't, and now she's questioning him like hey that don't so, make any sense bro so what i'm saying is that yielding one to another understanding who carries the wisdom in whatever area and respecting who mm. has the wisdom in the lane like debbie said as we open um no egos um in the way because i hold the the testicles can i say that because i hold them um but wow. debbie has the experience in this I area i <laughs> i'm the man but debbie has more experience yield to her because this she knows what she's doing here so it might be in your best interest to humble yourself and let my wife speak i hear you honey show me what you're mm -hmm. talking about learn and we learn from each other no egos and that's i'm, I'm all for that so the, with in, so there's something that i said i'd put up on the screen um that's very important that i think um is something to pay attention to here um this word or this mm -hmm. phrase decision fatigue am i spelling that correctly um mm -hmm. decision fatigue is something that happens to people who well, well first of all to what camille said i like what she said but there, there's something that i'm asking people to pay attention to um there's a statement that i hear people say from time to time women like to throw this one out about women mature faster than men uh, and so forth and i ask something for people to think about right if men are going to be slower to get to maturity and accountability if ever shouldn't we start them out earlier elaborate should we start them early with the with the should early we with start the making sure should we start exposing them to accountability and responsibility at a younger age to get I, them used to it absolutely i, think, I agree i agree i, I think it, it happens but it's just that like are they gonna perfect example that's it. There, there it is. Debbie it. said it. Are they going to grasp it? Bring a cow to water or a horse to water, but uh, they are going to drink it. Drink it if they it, are. It. Right. But 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 so there's more. This this is where things get a little bit um granular. We don't we don't need to go there now because sometimes we may have the skill set on how to do something, and sometimes we may not have the skill set on how to do something. And this brings me to this word here that I put on the screen: decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is when uh, people get tired from making too many decisions I've been and there. some of us was that i've been there what? And, yeah and some of us are not good at making decisions right while others of us are for example he uh, I, I throw this one out from time to time we heard that barack obama is good at making decisions how did we hear that he's good at making decisions because doing his um, term huh doing his term <laughs> Listen, 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 <laughs> listen carefully. Uh -oh. I'm not talking about all the things. Listen that's carefully. Other, that's a whole other thing. I know that's a whole other. Here's what mm. happens. I'm using him as an example of somebody at a high high level. Okay. Uh -oh, Let's okay. take it there. Uh oh. He spent five minutes getting ready in the morning. Okay. Okay. If you when you know you have a lot of decisions to make, you you optimize the amount of time you spend on certain decisions. Okay. Right. I so if that. you take if you take two hours to get ready, you're probably not good at making decisions. Okay, I can go right? with that. And then it's also the ability to look at the weight of the decisions you're making to say, okay, um, certain decisions I should not be making because yeah. they affect certain things that probably I don't want to say below your. Per it's not necessarily beneath you, but it's probably more efficient to to make allow somebody to else to make it. those decisions to delegate, delegate those decisions. There you go. Yeah, uh -huh. to delegate those decisions. And if you don't know how to do that, you will run into decision fatigue. Now, why do a lot of single people get into decision fatigue? Fatigue because they're making all the decisions, and it sucks. <laughs> and that's a part of why it sucks. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it definitely sucks. So um, I, I think uh, you know, there's a clip I'm gonna play. We we'll probably ride out on this one because. Um, and I think it's a good segue out of this. Um, many, about a year or two hours ago, um, we have uh, uh, Jenny Mai, right? She's on um, The Real. 
Oh, and uh, yeah. is it the real? And yeah. she had a come to Jesus moment because uh, she's this is her second marriage, and in the first one she was uh, a boss babe, and uh, she didn't want no kids, and it ended in divorce. But on this one, I'm gonna play a clip. I'm gonna break it up a little bit. Um, USA Today and, uh, here recently we go. reported that President Trump's nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court, Amy Coney Barrett, has close ties to a Christian religious group called People of Praise, who reportedly teach that it's a wife's job to submit to the will of her husband, as the Bible teaches. So far, Barrett has declined to publicly discuss her affiliation with People of Praise. I did not even know this existed. But this week, Matthew Cochran of The Federalist defended this viewpoint, arguing that equality in marriage only breeds resentment. And that just because a woman is submissive to her man doesn't mean it will hold her back in life, highlighting Amy's potential new job as evidence of that. I think it's so weird when people try. So, so far, what do you think of the statement that was just made a while ago? So far I mean, that, huh? She was against it. Content. Initially. Mm -hmm. Well, the statement was and so that they were saying that, hey, a woman being submissive is not going to hold her back. For example, this woman is aligned with this way of thinking that she should submit to her husband, but it's not so it's not stopping her from advancing in her career. She was just appointed a judge. Right. Uh, what is that? Court. Supreme Court judge. Right. For the rest so, of her life. For the rest of her life, right? So it didn't stop her career, but she believes in being submissive. So some, I think you're, why I'm playing this clip is because this clip is going to show you a spectrum of how people respond to this, this, um, just being submissive, right? So the statement came from a woman who believes in being that, and she also had her career, and she made it to the Supreme Court. All right, let's continue. to use the bible for these sorts of things i think that gets really weird obviously mm. you know the bible was written in a different time a completely different literally and there's parts in the bible that literally say that you should stone somebody if they eat shrimp in leviticus like we have to recognize or not color what that your hair into right. wow. yeah I mean, I mean there's literally really extreme things that are said i think god also gives us wisdom and I think that uh, th there are also other parts of the Bible that recognize how important and how essential uh, a woman is to the world and, um, and to a marriage. And it, it speaks on equality. Like for me, I just feel like the concept of being me submissive to my husband, but what is, is he not submissive to me as well? I, I think for me, I think that's what give and take in a relationship Aww. is about. It's about compromise and stop smiling when you see that picture, Jeannie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so was cute. Like, Why? But I, I feel I like, love it. like this just takes us backwards, you guys. As women, we fought so hard to be equal and viewed equal in our relationships, yeah. in our workplaces. And the concept of being submissive has a negative connotation to it. I think when they're talking about her being a boss and obviously having this incredible position that she may be taking, guys, there are people who are bosses in their workplace and then they want to come home and let their husband lead. That again is their choice. That is not them being submissive. Right. That is them that's choosing about. It's about that the that's what decisions. they want. It's a different. All right. So let me ask you a question. Is she clear? Is she capping? Is she making sense? Because she touched on a few things that um, I know Truth Pills would have had some objections to some of the things she said. Camila, I see you want to talk. We're not done with it, but I want to, you know, break it up. Go ahead, Camila. I see you trying to come. You're trying to, you're, you want to say something. All right, so you know what? Let me let me do this. I want to I want to ask the Google. Whoa! I feel like she just don't understand what she was saying. Because right. So she yeah, because she she was all over the place. But go ahead. In submission. By 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 definition, when she said choice, right? The act, the action, or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or to the will or authority of another person. Mm -hmm. And then it's so funny that the sentence that the dictionary used, the Oxford dictionary used, is they were forced into submission. <laughs> <laughs> then similar word is yielding, which is what I said, and, and mm. I learned that um, in church. Uh, okay, 
And another similar word they use is one that I'm not familiar with. And it's, what is that? Cap capital capitalization? Is that right? Cap capitulate. Say it again? Capitulate. Capitulate. Capitulation? All right. Thank you. Um, and that definition is um, the action of surrender or ceasing to resist an opponent or a demand. Is so when you hear those things in those strong words, you think of of you think of of a of a war or almost like waving a white flag in surrender. <laughs> and and we tend to look at that person as the weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. The one who is surrendering, we mm -hmm. tend to see the person as a weaker vessel. And again, this is where is this a things, negative connotation? Yes, th but two things can exist at the same time here. Because yielding in surrender could be for your benefit. It, so is and it a it choice? All, it, it, it's a choice to submit. Right. It is a choice to submit. When that choice is taken away from you, and it's more like, uh-uh, you don't have a choice. You have to. And I think that is the fear. I think that's what Adrian was talking about. The fear of no longer having a choice to choose how and if I want you to yield or if I want to go. Obviously, if you get to a point where neither person wants to yield, they're going to bump into each other. And mm -hmm. if you do that often enough, it gets uncomfortable and people have to to, to split. So every so often you're going to get into a situation if you are given your, your freedom of choice, if you are truly giving and operating in your freedom to choose, mm. every so often you're going to choose that, well, honey, I don't know if I agree with that if you're asking me to be honest with you. And he's going to say, well, um, well, hun, X, Y, Z, and so and so. And then a decision needs to be made because um, and somebody has to either say, well, I don't agree, but I'm going to allow you to do this because a, a decision has to be made. Mm. Or one might say, this is a deal breaker, X, Y, Z. But as we talk about submission, I think people, when they talk about the past, because really and truly in the past, it wasn't looked at as a choice that you had. It's like you had to do it. And, and, and any woman that would question their husband's authority, whether he sunk the ship or not, she was deemed as rebellious and, and her action might lead other women to do the same thing. And that was bad for men operating in this patriarch kind of world that we live in. And mm. as you said, now we're living, we're looking at more of America being a, a, a matriarchy versus Back not America, the not America. Well, the, the world, the, the world in general. No, so, the, the, the black, uh, the African-American community is a matriarchy. The rest of it okay. is a patriarchy. So, all right. Um, I, I, that's for a whole nother, nother conversation because I, mm. I've seen, I'm in a girl, I'm in an all women's group and they put up a question, ladies, what do you think of submission? And I was very careful to scroll through. And let me tell you something, Meg, Megan and them were not having it. And, um, and and it's so they were not having it in there. So I again, this might speak to your so called your social economic class that you're always mm -hmm. speaking of, and mm -hmm. those women who poison position themselves to yield and yes, honey, for the for the benefit of the inheritance of the man that will will wife them. Mm -hmm. But those who are out here working and and side by side with men. You know, if I'm contributing and we're contributing and we're building together, then we want to be chosen for what we can contribute to strengthen and to, you, you understand what I'm saying? So again, uh -huh. it, it speaks it speaks to different, um, like you were saying before, there were people who married for love and then there were people who did the co contractual thing. Everybody mm. needs to stay in their lane and operate with what works for them. So yeah, I think okay. that's what Adrian was saying. She was just she was afraid of the forcing part when you 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 nail her to scripture. I gotta shut up and I can't say anything. And I think so, she was wrong. So I, I think I have yeah, a lot I, to do with that. Her husband is a man of faith too. So 
Well, don't let's not go too far with her. Let, we, we, if we if we go too deep with her, it's gonna get messy. Because um, what I'll say is this: what I, what we're gonna hear from the rest of the ladies, except for Jenny, is you're gonna hear more of this. Um, there's an unhealthy view of submission. That's that's and you, you're gonna hear that in in some of what they have to say. And I think something that we sh we get to bring back to the forefront is there's a choice involved here right mm -hmm. there is a choice in submission um if you are with a person and i, and I want to make sure i say that loud and clear the reason for that is this uh submission either way is a choice a choice you get to make which means you get to vet a person you're going to be with that you want to choose to be have that type of relationship with whichever way you want to do it but if you are not aware that everything you're doing is a choice and the only thing you have control over is your choice then you may give that choice away or you for other reasons may enter into an unhealthy relationship some of these women are dealing with things that they're adopted maybe never fully experienced and they have this negative thing going on because it's been absorbed from somewhere else there's a whole generation of women some of them are on this panel well, that's not this one, not this one we are, but in this video, and they have never been married and they never will because something negative was given to them about submission and they view submission as not a choice, but a force, like in the, like in the reference you use in the dictionary, forced into submission. There are people who understand it's a choice and therefore they choose somebody that they can choose to do that with, which is the position Jenny is taking. Right. I want to say something about Jenny Mai because you you. Hold on, don't don't do it yet. Cause we just we just pause. I want to finish playing it. We'll oh, see it after. Oh, more. Yes, oh, yes. I wasn't done. I just need to break up the video. That's all. That's all. All right. Friends. Right. That's right. So the actual definition of submit is to accept or yield to a superior force, or to the authority or will of another person. So I'm gonna say right here that I Jenny Mai going into my marriage. I want to submit to my man. All right. So this is her, and this is her choice that she's making. Uh, so she chose somebody that she could do that with. Uh, Camille has something before Which Camille goes. Which marriage are talking about? Right. She's talking about Jeezy, right? This is Jeezy, yeah. yes. The first and, one, and, she didn't. Go ahead. And, and what I want to say is that it's very obvious that Jeannie Mai is in love with Jeezy. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something about women, right? I watched that show from you know the beginning. Yes. Um, and I, I remember I when they would to. when they would have the man crush um Monday. And if you ever notice, Jeannie might always pick like a rapper or some urban mm -hmm. dude or whatever mm -hmm. and her man crush. So she she always leaned towards our culture. And I feel like the 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 culture she's coming out of looked at us the way Carlo described us as, as a, a messy people or whatever. Um, who when did I say that? Uh, no, I mean... The matriarchy. Ma the matriarchy. matriarchy. Okay. So right. we don't, and, and when you say that, it's not a compliment. We don't have our stuff together. Our structure is, is out of whack. So we're, we're, my, we're in the minority. No, but it's... It, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Or, or, well, because uh, apparently... When we have that conversation, we talk about our structure is out of whack compared right. to everybody else. And that, yeah. that's, that's contextual. So um, when, she, when she was with Freddie, and Freddie looked the way maybe her, her parenting wanted it to be, because white was better or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm. He was a tear. He was doing better than her, but she, her heart wasn't there. I feel like mm. when she was with Freddie, she was with Freddie, but she wasn't crazy about him. Jeannie Mai wanted a black man. She wanted a rapper. She, everything, everything. If you ever wa watch every episode of that show when they have man crush and she'd be like, I was about to say that. and she even mm -hmm. put Jeezy as one. So she is living <clears throat> her fantasy. fantasy. With that yes, man. she's living she it. She is out. living it. So if right now, she, you know, you, you want something from your born and you dream about it. She'll do anything. And you got for it. Man. Oh yeah. She'll so, do anything absolutely. for him. So when so she a... gives her opinion on Jeezy or whatever, and I'm just this and that, she is in la la land with that man. 
So and uh, any woman in La La Land with their man gladly will, submits. Well, gladly lay down. Let me not say bon film. Hold on. This is what I've always <laughs> dreamed of. So, so there's. I understand some of what you said, but there's context to her behavior, because how she, the person she was in her first marriage could not keep a relationship with Jeezy. Because when I saw this clip, you know me, I like to dig deeper and understand what's going on because there are reasons. When you hear me talking about the other women on the panel, there's a reason they're that way, right? You don't, you're not just born this way with fear of anything like this because as we discussed throughout the show tonight, and uh, we need to wrap this up quickly, um, submission is something we do every day right at your job in all these different things so it's a normal healthy thing so when you have this visceral response to something there is some trauma there that gets to be healed so i went and looked deeper and what i found is that jenny had that um unbalanced position from her mother and her mother had that because her mother had a unhealthy relationship with her father which was not healed. And that unhealthy relationship with her father caused her to marriage to break up. And then she came over here, had Jenny, all this stuff going up. And Jenny, it's when she was going through therapy, she realized that, hey, this is coming from somewhere. So she had to work on healing her stuff, right? Because even though you say she, her man crush was whatever she chose to be with the man she was married to first there's choice we, we should not overlook that people are making choices right no one forced her into the previous relationship she was in did so you, she did you know why she did you research why she did why she was why in she it she married freddie uh, that's a great that? question i didn't go that far with that i know she ended okay. it with him because Tell the us. man wanted a yeah. child she wanted a child, uh, he wanted a child. She said, I don't want no children, uh, this, this, and the third. And she ran that relationship and it she ended. She wasn't in love with him. We're, I'm clear, but this is what I'm saying to you. When you have a situation like that, people who have stuff going on inside of them, they will make choices like that, okay? Yeah, so so she, she had she to- She chose him. She right. chose him contractually. That was a contractual thing where she felt like he was the best suitor for her at the time. And I believe Carlo, as her money grew, and she be able, she was able to handle her own. I think she went into that relationship contractually, like you know. Um, and then as her, her as her, her brand and everything began to take take off, she stood in that force as that boss bitch, and she handled it. So so let me ask you a question. So I, I the, all of those points taken. So she was not able to be in her feminine. You mean with Freddie? She yes. chose not to be in her feminine. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, 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 I'm pointing something here and we'll move on because we get to wrap it up. It, it's after midnight. Guys, I invite you to go look at her family story where she talks about all of this and why she showed up the way she showed up in her first relationship and what she healed to be able to be in the position she's in right now or to even choose to want to submit because she was not in that position. So something to check out. Now, to you when you say, why do I say what I say about matriarchy, right? I'm not saying it as a negative connotation. I'm saying there are things we're good at and there are things we're not good at. There are things that women tend to care about more than, than, than men. Women tend to care, not say women cannot operate in business or others, but at the end of the day, one of the things women care about, what do you care about most right now? If you had to pick two things in your life right now, your kids being one of them, right? What are the two things you want to have left in life? If you only could take two things with you, your kids being one of them, what's the other thing you're taking? Taking where? Anywhere. Maybe that question is formed incorrectly. Let me show yeah. you what I got on my screen here, which I've mentioned to you before. This, we, we talk about, you know, people have a lot to say about patriarchy and look at that as a negative connotation. Um, men tend to take more risks physically and financially. Women tend to take risks where social stuff is concerned because that's what they care about. Here's a look at six matriarchal societies that have been thriving with women at the helm for six centuries all right take a look at this tell me what you see six centuries you know how long that is all right it's a long time take a look that's one here's 
Yeah, here's in China. This is in Costa Rica. And we can read more about this. I'll share the link with you if you want. This is in Kenya. There are a lot of native um, cultures where the woman is the head of, and just based off of respect, running um, things. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're running everything. Men are not involved in any of the decision making. I want you to pay attention to what you're seeing. These people are thriving. I'm talking some of these cult these societies are 4 million um, uh, population, 4 million. But I want you to pay attention to what you see as important. All right, so so that's it. That's uh, six of them. What, what, what did you see? Did, what kind of what did you see? What kind of buildings did you see? What do you see in these pictures? What's important to these ladies? Uh, they're very they, they're, there's no buildings they look like they're living in a in tribal like they're look it looks tribal right um, they're living in their own element right away from civil like not civilization but they're not living in a you know i guess civilized life somewhere. yeah so so it's they care about family they right. care about taking care of their family, making sure food, shelter is there. That's what they care about. They don't care about war or anything like that. They don't care about a lot of these other things, right? We care about these things. And some people, you'll, they'll argue with you that women can, if women were doing it, it would be better. But a, a statement I'll make is where, where matriarch and patriarchs are concerned. I'll say in this society, in American society, a lot of women are more masculine and they are driven to compete with men. And so you see what you see there, which is fine. But when you allow women to choose what they want to do and you don't interrupt their choices, these are societies where that is what took place. They made their choices, they do things how they want, and these are the results. If you go then over, Kim can speak to this in the Scandinavian countries, such as Sweden, where they have egalitarian the equality. They have been doing this since the 80s, fully. And what you have now is you don't have much or many female CEOs because they don't want that. They take the nursing jobs and stuff like that. If they want female CEOs, they come to America to get those women, right? So I'm saying to you, when I say that the African-American community is a matriarchal community, that's not a diss. It is, it, when you look at what you see here, which is six, don't have anything to do with me, look at it for yourself. They are not set up in a way to compete with other societies or, or patriarchies in a, in a meaningful way. If any other the other societies came and knocked them over, they could not defend themselves. And that is the position right now of the African-American community. Is because Britain, it is, a, a, is, is Britain a patriarchy or a matriarchy? Uh, it's a patriarchy. The queen is at, the queen is running it, but it's a major, it's a monarchy is what that is because okay. the queen is still there, right? So that's what's going on there. So when I make that statement, it's not a diss. It is the structure. The women are leading are the African American community, and so a lot of the decisions and what's important is set there. If it was established by something else where the leadership and protection is by the males, by the patriarchs, then the, it looks a little bit different. But that's when I say that, that is what I'm referring to, where there is a drive to push, to compete, to adhere to hierarchy, to and then get to the top of those things where, where ladies are concerned, they want to get to the top, but then there are also other things that we hear along the way going on there. And uh, you brought some points up where we, I've said to you, pay attention to when, it's not that I don't want to see women win, because I've seen women win my whole life. My mom was a boss. Many companies I've worked for, I've worked for women leadership, and they kick butt, take name, I've learned a lot. I have no issue with any of that. I'm saying that in this particular community, ours, when they, because of some of what I just mentioned and what I showed you, the reason why they focus on our women, right? You, you, you drop something in the chat, a, a topic we're going to um, focus on uh, in the future, which is they want us to highlight violence, but if we talk about our love, that's not what they, this is the point. When our families stick together, 
and we get our stru structure, our traditional structures right, we will succeed. But they prefer to have us talk about not unifying and they prefer to promote our women above the men so that the family structure fails because that's what they're doing and when we are doing what we're doing now this is what we look like to them that's what i'm saying i'm not saying it's a bad thing it's not a negative connotation there's the data there's the information for yourself take a look at it that's not me making something up or putting a negative connotation look for yourself i didn't make it up and I'm not trying to make it a negative thing. So that's all that is. Um, submission. Guys, what did we hear from um, uh, the last thing? Somebody added this one. Uh, submission. Not necessarily a bad thing. Is it a bad thing? Uh, who wants to talk about it? Kim, you want to touch on that? Well, I'll read this last this little topic here that I just read about. No, I don't think it's a bad thing. Okay. At all. Um, but I'll read this um, part here just to add on to what we were saying Um last about men submitting mm -hmm. um men submit in friendships relationships marriages all the time but they do it freely without the pressure of often quoted and misunderstood scripture hanging over their head they do it because their wife has a better plan because she has a stronger set of skills more experience more money etc the only difference is they don't call it that they say happy wife happy life that they're keeping the peace even that they will let their women run their lives because ultimately, even men know that the word submission, as we've contorted and reshaped it, means accepting a position of subordination. But in reality, submitting is just the natural consequence of a healthy, loving partnership. That's okay. right. And, and yeah. again, I, I mean, right yeah, I, I love it. I, it's, it's, again, if we we're all out here on the road and nobody's yielding to each other, we'd be a mess. Nice. And 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 if if one person is always yielding, they'd never move. Yes. They'd never move. They'd be useless. So we have to yield one to another. That was beautiful, Kim. Right. And that's why there's structure too. If we didn't have that light system, let me tell you, it would be a hot mess. That's right. Yes, and so, women, it's not a know, bad thing. Submission actually yeah, a beautiful In order for thing. structure to happen, there has to be submission. There has to uh, be. Absolutely. And and understanding who is submitting, who is taking the leading role and who is not is important because if you look at the stats on same sex mar um, relationships, people who tend to not have those delineations of who is leading and who isn't end up having higher DV domestic violence rates. You got to choose and you got to let somebody be a leader. And you gotta allow yourself. No, no. I'll, I'll bring this, and I'll, I'll. I agree with everything that was said on the table here. Um, it definitely is aligned with um, alignment with what Kim said. I ask you also to consider. Um, you know, many of us don't have a lot of uh, leadership experience or business. And I'll say this to you: something to learn, because a lot of people want to be entrepreneurs today. In any business you run, there is a leader. Whether you want to call yourself a CEO, a president, etc., and you can't do it by yourself, right? If you're trying to do that by yourself, we're going to go back to uh, decision fatigue, among other things. You're going to burn yourself out. You need a strong team, mm -hmm. right? And that team is going to be your partner, right? So figure out who you want to submit to, okay, and go make a plan with that person and ride off into the sunset. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the Caribs. Um, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Listen, it costs zero to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell. You want to hear from us sometime. Um, we're going to make some changes to the channel coming up. We'll give you smaller chunks because I know some people don't like to watch things in uh, over a long period of time. <laughs> I had to choose my words wisely there. You know, some people do like it long. Uh, so, um... <laughs> <laughs> let me stop let me stop <laughs> you know but anyway um but some people don't can't handle all of that and they like small eight minute clips or or something like that so um we we, we have some of those coming and uh, we just want to thank you for participating for calling in or well for commenting and uh or interacting with us in the ways that you have please we're on facebook and youtube at the caribs um instagram the dot caribs and uh you are a carib so come hang with us see you next week same place same time peace and to my panel all right we're gonna have an after meeting hold on